passion. Give it a dip it dip it pick up on the passion. Pip 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 passion. Give it a pick the passion. Pip pip pick 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 pick. Give it a pick 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 up on the passion. Pip 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 pick the passion. Give it a pick the passion. Give it a pick up on the passion. Pip 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 pick 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 passion. Pick 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 up on the passion. Give it a pick 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 You know what I'm saying? Like we played Dead Sim right before it got dark, and Dead Sim was like tag. You know? mm -hmm. um, but um, <laughs> you put, but you play it about yeah. It was like half quarter, two quarter mile long apartment complexes, so you play it across those. And so would you ditch some. someone at some point? Yeah, well you had teams. If it was like ten kids and ten kids books. on each team, you know my tag like that, right now? and whoever was left, right? Yeah, and you had to, it was honor right? system like too. Fonts? Like you got tagged, you know. Heavy yeah. equipment yeah. looked uh, up. But uh, what was I saying? All right, I'll do the. What was I saying? Oh, that sounded nice. That, that click. Damn, I forgot, Did it? I forgot what I was talking yeah. about. Are you recording it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you been recording this whole time, this whole story? Sure. Uh, well, just the last uh, two minutes or so. Oh, word up. Sorry, but welcome to the Pick Apart the Passion <laughs> podcast. As long as, yeah. I mean, it is I. I wanted to get the piston breakdown in this. Yeah, okay. So, okay, yeah, that. Well, the pistons. Yeah, yeah. Is we got, my the, team, we got the tail I, end of the story. Okay, okay, good. So, the Pick Apart the Passion podcast, as we have myself, Am Ram Long, Rambunctious. I have my man Brad LeBaron on the producer role. Say what up, Brad. What up? We have my man Zach, a.k.a. Every Motherfucking Day. Yes. All Hi. right. Yes. And we have a very special that guest here today, an extraordinary artist. Um, he is very jazz-inspired, music-inspired, life-inspired, I would say. Uh, I'll let him tell you his own inspirations. But one of the greatest artists I've ever met personally in my life And I'm not saying that because he's sitting next to me and that'd be cool. And that's my motherfucking ace coon boom, you know what I'm saying? Is that he's really that talented. And I don't know I'm joking around, but seriously, though. Um, Martel Chapman. Hello. Thanks for having me. Welcome. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, Martel. Hey, Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. No, it's Walker. Okay, well, so Zach and Martel know each other better than anybody in the room. So this is going to be fun. How do you guys know each other? I We used know. to work together. I uh, met him at uh, Full Compass in the strong uh, in the warehouse. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice! I worked at Full Compass. Yeah. That's interesting. It is three weeks for like yeah, three <laughs> weeks <laughs> for about seven years. <laughs> yeah, three weeks. I think I lasted two years. Nice. That nice. was long enough. Wait, is yeah. that a music shop? Yeah. Um, it's like uh, uh, it's like Sweetwater kind yeah. of. It's a big okay. warehouse very catalog. Smaller. Very okay. much smaller okay. than okay. Sweetwater. Okay. I actually yeah. rode by Sweetwater in Indiana. I was very surprised how it's big that huge. is. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. Hmm. They got like their own fitness they center. They should get my shit faster than me. Shit like that. <laughs> we had our own bistro. <laughs> yeah, we had a bistro. What? And Shout had, out to we had, Chef. We had our own Chef Don. Yeah. yeah. Chef Don was, was a chef. That yeah, was yeah, fun there. Yeah, that was actually, yeah. That was a that was a good old time. Yeah, that kitchen was actually real cool. Anyway. That's where our our mornings... That's where we spent our mornings. It was a lot. So uh, this is going to be very free form yeah. more than the other podcasts. We um, normally play tracks. Uh, today we're going to conversate. We're going to um, look at Martel's paintings and have him kind of describe maybe his creative process about each one. Maybe if there's some things that inspire that one. Uh, he has one here in the studio that we will unveil whenever he wants to later. Um, I think that's... Uh, That's maybe a special thing. Maybe we'll wait, we'll wait and see how the flow goes. He's actually doing a painting right now with his feet. He is. You guys can't under the see table. it, but under yeah. the yeah. table. Painting. All toe wax inspired. He'll reveal that as well <laughs> later on. Yes. No, I won't. Long okay. toenails well, is the you quote. You heard him. Is what We're not going to show it. So yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, if everybody can notice uh, my man's very sharp hat here too, by the way. Uh, I wanted to notice that. And we will get a picture up on the, um, some type of uh, social media of his whole outfit. Because he's very much <laughs> repping the artist's repertoire. Yeah, so after this, today. can you, you know take each piece so, off so I can get a picture of him? So individually pieced. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I don't want to, like, you know. Like, I can lay him out in front of the locker room like Deion Sanders did. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a picture in, of that. In, like, my uniform. Like, like, that, that, we just want pictures of the, the clothes. <laughs> the socks, the pants, yeah. and the jersey, yeah. and, the, and the bandana. Yeah. But I don't, yeah. 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 Okay. I got a bandana, so it'll be hey. like, Cool. Dion's locker room. Yeah. Remember all I mean, that, right? Yes, remember that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Not really, no. I'm, I'm not trying to be upset. I, I know who Deion Sanders is. I don't remember Deion's locker room, though. You remember I, what he would do before he each a... game? He would lay out like he would lay out his like That's a fact. his Superman outfit. Yeah. Did they and this was a thing that they would broadcast? Well, yeah, well, well, like, what's do... funny, yeah. Well what's funny is yeah, networks actually he was such a um is this... like like star yeah. Yeah. that networks would. They would Dion go in the locker the room shit. and like show Dion's uniform and stuff. Yeah, they would. They would they would show that shit and then 
they would show that in their pregame. It was like hype for TV. Then he would hit you know I mean? a little gadget Before on his media. watch, and it would form around him like Iron Man, man. No, oh, well, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. That only oh, happened okay. once. And they, they, they 94 when that. they beat uh, Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I won a bet with my mom that year. Good. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. Shit. yeah. I'm glad. I, for some reason, bet on Dallas. Okay. I had no wow. understanding of football. I, wait a minute, okay, you bet okay, on no, Dallas or no, on San Francisco? It's amazing how my San Fran... When Dion was in San Fran, that was his best oh, year. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 And they he, they brought him he's in saying, to knock he's off Dallas. He's saying Dallas won. I was no. going to say, that's the only, yeah. that, I was young. Yeah, everybody no, man, but everybody I was just about to say, no cares you know about that year. it's funny right. how quick, within two statements, you lost and gained my respect back. You were, like, <laughs> you were like, yeah, I actually bet on Dallas. And I'm like, hmm, right now, I don't know about this guy. Uh, and then you were like, but I have no knowledge of football. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. cool. That's cool. That's okay, cool. Dallas, good. San Francisco, what's I get the it. difference? Ooh, yeah, 90s, yeah, yeah. that meant something. Yeah, well, yeah. All right, so um, what's uh, what's your main inspiration for painting in general? Like, What did you start painting? What age? Well, was, um, what, you know, what, stuff, what made that happen? Uh, Sanders. Painting. Painting. Okay. <laughs> Painting was uh, inspired by jazz, for yeah. me, no doubt. But yeah. you know, when I was a kid, it was uh, drawing comic book heroes, you know? Okay, what age Marvel. was that? What age was that? As early as I can remember, five, six. I still have comic oh, books that I would is, uh, scribble on and practice on. Five, and, and I don't want to age you, but we kind of got I'm 48. Me. I don't All right, care, man. fuck it, yo. I don't either. I'm 42. Uh-huh. Um, it's now a confession age booth now. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Zach ain't going to say old So, 48. Though. 22. So, that mm-hmm. means in 18. 1980, oh, wow. in 1980, comic, comic, comic kind of had a big surge in the early 80s in terms mm-hmm. of popularity, right? Yeah. So would you say at about 8, 9, 10 years old, you had, that's when you kind of started? Or what age was that? Did that become It was before that. But by the time I got yeah. to like 9 to 10, I got into football. So I was drawing, oh, I was oh, drawing athletes and stuff. But before that, yeah. so it went from like Marvel yeah. um, to athletes, Mad Magazine was a big inspiration. Jack, my Davis. brother was big into that. Oh yeah. man, yeah. those caricatures! So then it was like, so um, coworkers, um, classmates getting okay. in trouble doing that stuff, and, sure. and you know whatever. I mean, caricatures are, are a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you um, were you strictly just using pen or pencil, and then you made the switch to paint, or did you try painting when you were that young? Um, some painting when I was in high school. Um, I was not interested in it. I didn't have anybody else to share it with, right? Mm-hmm. So, so my freshman year, I didn't even take an art class. No I'm shit. Because like, mm-hmm. eh. there wasn't anybody else to like, hang around with, the people mm-hmm. that are the friends I was Were well, you apprehensive to show it to other people, or you just didn't have anybody that cared? I like, didn't have anybody around that was doing it. Show, right, that would, that would show the So you, get, all, you get out of that age demographic sure. when you're drawing, when you're in elementary school. By the time you get to middle, things are growing out. Sure. And uh, so I didn't have anybody around me that we were sharing that interest in. So that right. was a big deterrent uh, so right. by, by by sophomore year i took a drawing introduction to drawing just to fill in an elective i was out of electives to choose and i discovered that i had well wow, i'm doing something i didn't know i could do and the instructions okay. at Mad- the instructors at madison east are really great mr Berge, nice on uh, and haugley so yeah so we're, we're just there were they saw that i enjoyed what i was doing so they weren't you know it was easy for me to get involved in it okay and um I think the thing that I've taken away from Mr. Berge at East was not to draw the object, but to draw the lines and the shapes that create the object. So you're mm-hmm. detached from it. You're okay. no longer concerned about the accuracy of it. You're just in the moment of the process of the line itself. Right, right. You know? A step-by-step process in a and way. I, That's I, good advice. And right. I think, you know, when you, and I think, too, now, so then years later, I came across John Coltrane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So as far as, you know, my approach went i took it seriously then okay right yeah. so and as far okay, as like, so when you say years later what how many years later um, from let's say uh what from you said high school? high school yeah okay, okay after high school i took uh commercial art at matc and i nixed that okay. after a week i didn't get a lot of it just wasn't a fit okay how did you hear the is, did, so then at some point after that the jazz hit you how did you hear the jazz to then make you want to paint that's a long like, path to it sure so yeah. the was early there moment, was there a moment where a song was like boom no, it was, uh, so it always, tra- I can track back to, like, the first time music, like, hit, sure. right? Um, I can even go far back as when we were still on the farm. So I grew up okay. in a town of around 700. Okay. My grandparents, oh, wow. my, oh, grand- well, my grandparents' small. farm. In Wisconsin. In Wisconsin. Yeah, in Wisconsin. Okay. Perdichine area, Bloomington. Okay, mm. okay. Bloomington. 
Hey, yeah. book, that's, book, book, that's book, how book. they say it there. That is. <laughs> You're like Wisconsin as fuck. And hey, now I'm trying, I'm trying this beer you were talking about. By the way. Okay. Is that yeah. the seltzer? It mm. is not seltzer, man. Oh, it's definitely not seltzer. Thanks. It's pretty mm. good. Yeah. It looks, but, like, uh, looks tasty. The way that you're uh, look at them processing. This it. is uh, this is ad brought <laughs> oh, no, to you. That's good. No, that's really good. That's this is brought to you by Lagunita. Yeah, I mean, hey, if you guys want to sponsor us, <laughs> they do have <laughs> thumbs up over here, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so um, so yeah. my first okay. Look, so, you're an easy interview. This motherfucker went into his own biography before he said he said so. Where I grew up, bam. Blah, 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 blah. It was almost well, like I, he was rapping. I right? got a, I got a nice memory. I like it. No, I like it. No, I'm you just have a nice keep memory. Going, keep going, keep okay, good memory. Mm, oh, okay, decent. No, no, no. It's, it's nice. It's, it's nice. It's, it's nice. His memory's a cool guy. His memory's a cool guy. Yeah. It's very so my... sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sweetie pie. I love that we're all cool with each other. This is gonna. This is great. I, ain't cool I hope though. everyone's enjoyed the no, podcast so far. I'm not cool. We gonna be even fucking with each other more. Brought to you by fucking with each other more. Is that in a can? Yeah. He got one of them pop top pop slap. Yes. Reverse. Uh, um, uh, yeah. But oddly enough, Anne Murray. You anybody know who Anne Murray is? Yeah, uh, I know the name. I know, I the, know name. the name. Yeah, I know she the was name. a folk seventies. Yeah, uh, I don't think I like Anne Murray. Singer, I, so, I, don't, right. I, I remember <laughs> seeing. I remember There's nothing good that came my head. Yeah, like I got. I, I'm going to disclose it. I, you know, I don't do this very often, so I'm going to throw it all out there. Anne Murray was probably the first time a song like boat. No shit. And, and it was a melancholy. Uh, that's, wow, mine was. Uh, that's like, what got you. You believed in me is the name of the song. I believe. That's okay, what you okay. got connected with the music art and music, or just music. Just okay. music. You know what or got me. You know as what far got as me? like music means something. Okay, yeah. right. Like okay, I, right. I, I understood that music okay. meant oh, something okay. because. Oh, okay. Right, not with. Yeah. Not and that's way early. That's way early than you're talking about. That. And that's, I was like, I was, I'm like in, yeah, I was five or six. Right. Okay. Still on the farm. I went to get my dad out of the barn. Yeah, yeah, and when they and had a radio, killing this shit, they right? had a ra- <laughs> <laughs> on the they, had a, they had a radio up there, and I'm and Murray there. shit me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how I did. And I was like, "Son, come in, Ann Murray, <laughs> killing this shit." And nobody ever heard the term "killing that shit" before, yeah. especially in Bloomington. Was, <laughs> yeah, blew his mind. Yeah, and then yeah, the cows are like, "Man, oh my god, okay, okay, okay." okay. So, so that's <laughs> honestly that fun. song All still right. hits. Me. So, Man, this is yeah. your. Uh, it's cheesy. Cool. It's singer right. songwriter right. stuff. Hey, you know that's yes. that's the way and it goes. And it was who and was Murray. Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't have any control over what like you don't, you what don't. hits you. You don't. And I was you know? five. What am I gonna yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, Dismiss yeah. it? <laughs> no, man. Okay, Bomb. so when I was four, Bomb. when I was like four or five, the song that literally got me into music, one of the first songs I can remember loving, right. Is Rainbow Connection by Kermit Frog. <laughs> Dude. Uh, no okay. bullshit. Yes, okay. I know what why you're talking are about. There's so many songs about rainbows. Mm-hmm. And why are you on the other side? I know what you're talking about. Rainbows have visions, and I don't even you know, I know that You're gonna give that to Kermit, not Jim Henson. Okay, I guess that's how we're gonna do I it. I mean Well, I mean Trump's you know, in office. <laughs> same thing. If you were uh, gonna go in, into the <laughs> fictional president, fictional <laughs> son- <laughs> oh, We're I, living in a new did world. I did I do that? Bang. Yeah. I tried to do it. I'll throw it in the background or something. I have no clue if you're a Trump <laughs> fan or not. I assume oh, you're not. That was a Lord, joke. That was a oh, joke. That was a joke. You don't don't, don't joke. put that on me. I know. Oh, what now? <laughs> he looked at me like, whole podcast over. Fuck mm. this shit. Pick apart these nuts. You know? <laughs> 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 no, seriously. Is that right, how you right. end them if they're not going well? No, seriously. Okay, okay. Pick apart so, these nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. seriously. All right, back then to... Then it goes um, to black. Back to... Back to um, what you were saying. Music you, influence. Music influence. Anne Murray. That was the and first. Music influence. But and how did the I, music like, and I, like, how, I, like, how I, did the music and painting connect? What song was it? Let me get to it because it's still okay. like I oh, said. Okay. Because I'm I think sorry. because oh, yeah. I still yeah. think it's, it's a journey. It's still uh, impactful no matter what, and especially go, if you can remind if, if, if you go, can remember go, it. I think it's important. Go, you know. So yeah. Yeah. another one was uh, like on Sundays. It was it was cleaning. We lived in a trailer down from the farmhouse, and my parents put on their reel to reels. Yeah. And oh, it was, wow. I'll be there. Is it? Uh, uh, By the moon and the stars and the uh, eight. No, I'll be there. Oh, who is it? Andrew Jackson. Is he the. No, no, I think it's Temptation. Four tops. Four tops. Four tops. That one. Four tops, yeah. It's a harmonization. That, you know, that's one of. I think that's one of the first ones I remember to, like, on the radio. Was that's that, great fucking When, when did that come out? Like that hey, look, me. by the way, that was, the last that was on the seconds, 60s. 
seconds. For the last right? 15 seconds. Really? We all just murdered their goddamn song. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're, 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 trying. Know, <laughs> we're not trying to use the words. We're, we're not. We are doing Yes, just we, the did, song. we all I'm did that on purpose. Well, Very wait, careful. Was, it's called that, Careful Podcasting, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I was about to say, was that popular in the 90s for some reason? For something? May have been a commercial price. Like, I remember when I was a kid, it becoming. Well, a lot of the Motown hits popular again. Well, a lot of the Motown hits every decade, they've been used over and over for commercials. That's true. I mean, you can keep on. Man, I mean, you might have heard it in a Target commercial. And, oh, right, you know, right, right. Still gets anything. you moving. Yeah, and still just, gets you just moving. The, just yeah. the uh, melody, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. And probably why I don't have a lot of respect for the Beatles is it was in commercials oh, left man. and right or those classic wow. hits. When you first hear them outside yeah. of a commercial, you yeah. have a lot more appreciation for it. But if you're in a sure. commercial, you're like, oh, it's kind of cheesy sounding. Wait, well, there wait, was kind so of wait, a wait, gap, wait. though, okay, with Beatles stuff where well, they oh, weren't wow. in any commercials this for years because of being owned by Michael Jackson. Yeah, um, and yeah, then yeah, after right. Michael Jackson died, a few years later, you started to notice Beatles songs okay. are starting to come back to ads. Mm -hmm. have, but yeah, I have to pause all this at Beatles, <laughs> okay? Because here's why I have to ask the question: What are you saying? You don't have much respect for the Beatles? Because here's why I'm asking the question. And you, I <laughs> we're going back curious. to that. All right, we have to because I have yeah, to ask yeah, this. Yeah. This is very interesting. It yes. is because and we got plenty of time. We can go fucking as long as we want. If it's yeah, a five-hour yeah. podcast. That's what it is, yeah, yeah. right? Um, well, I was, that was a joke. We're not going. Out. But uh, so the Beatles. I personally am not a fan, right? I think they're very overrated, right? So when you said that just now, I was like, wow, I've never met anybody that was like, I don't, that's why I don't have much effect for the Beatles. And I was like, oh, shit, I agree. But most people are like, fuck you. <laughs> Beatles, right. are, Beatles are the greatest. Right? I'm like, well, eh, not really. It's like yeah. a taste thing. So if, if they're yeah. going to, I don't know if you can compare them to the Rolling Stones, but I'd go with the Stones. Okay. I like the Stones more than the Beatles. I do appreciate I would, I would appreciate them more so. It's, it's it different, is way though. different. Way different. It is different. different. Rolling Stones yeah. is more yeah. American feeling to me. Like it's, it's some yeah, well, they cite they cite blues you know? art American blues artists as their as their and, absolutely yeah, you know, yeah. inspiration. And they were doing well. the same thing as Elvis, just stealing, yeah. stealing right, right, right. But, but you know what? But they, they didn't own, steal but they they said Look, these guys influenced us, and they. It was never well. It was that. back yeah, in the that's time true. when yeah, that was true. that was yeah. the common thing is to to do other people's right. songs. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right. Yeah, that's true. but for me, I, for it's the Beatles, like you can't do that shit I'm completely biased with Beatles because I don't remember a time without the Beatles. Yeah. You know, because like my mom was a big Beatles fan, and okay. she would like sing me Beatles songs as okay. like lullaby type stuff, right, and I'd right, find right. out years later, oh my god, that's a Beatles song. Um, oh, wow. So like, yeah. I cannot be like you know. I can't make a good judgment on the Beatles because I'm. A, I, yeah. I do. I do yeah, think they're yeah. overrated, but I'm a. I'm a fan because of you sure, know. I'm sure. raised in a Beatles. Yeah, family. And I'm not saying their music tastes. Yeah, that's, um, that's but, exactly uh, right. It's right. So but over, it is. Right. It is overrated. It's definitely overrated. Right, like right. there are so many other bands of those periods that sure, are sure. just as yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. You know. So. Uh, okay. Keep going. We've now. covered the sorry. Beatles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. But and, as far as and uh, Deion Sanders. Okay, oh, so yeah. Anne Murray, Beatles, um, you're, you're on the road to, to okay, hearing okay. different music. Yep, yep. So, so Jazz have, comes so in and four influences your art. I'll be come? there. Oh, and, right. And, four and, tops. And, and the, yes. the music yeah. was always something that was going to be a part of my life somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. And is there, another, a is there a person in your life who was playing these songs? Like, is there somebody who was more into music, like your pops or your moms or your Not directly. Or your I, or... I do know that story. Is my, uh, I had a great-grandfather... That I guess he'd come home from work, and I guess the story goes he'd be in his truck listening to music sure. before okay. he was, yeah. you know, done for the day, stuff like sure. that. Right. Um, but music was around. My my parents, you know, they had LPs, they had reel to reels, so it was okay. definitely part of it. The radio was on. Reel to reels. My so dad. I don't know. That's that uh, thick one inch tape that used to go in literally two look like movie reels. And, and yeah, they, if you wanted you had to play music reel to reel in your right. house, you needed yeah. Yeah. A, a part of a wall. Right, yeah. To and put the that vinyl was on the floor in a big, long cabinet that maybe yes. had a TV. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what right. I'm yeah. Man, those yeah. console yeah. stereos. Right. Yeah. I got my grandpa's <laughs> Great sound. But Great sound. Yeah. It's a, um, it's a missing thing. But anyway. So, did you, I mean, when did you kind of when did you kind of realize that you were good at art? Like, because you, you've good been, question. you were starting... To, to draw stuff at five, um, and then you, it seems like you didn't really like it when you were in high school, or you liked it at East in high school, but then you, you had dropped out of college. Commercial art, yeah, yeah. It was, and then just general studies. Did you, at that point, did you know you were good? Like, did you have, like, did you, were you, like, confident, like, you're doing good stuff, or did you still have a lot of anxiety, or, like, did you not think that you 
you know, we're we're good at, enough at that, up to the standard. Or at that point, I didn't know of any standard. It was just yeah. I was just dismissing it. Okay. I didn't have any anxiety for it because I didn't. The only function I had to gain anything um, regarding a response was caricatures of coworkers. Mm-hmm. Like I draw mm-hmm. somebody here and they get a <laughs> laugh or whatever. That was mm-hmm. and that was that was the that was the feedback I was getting. Yeah. Outside of that, you know, it's like I'm going to show. So what do you think? Oh, it looks good. And that and started. That's matter, right? that, I'm sorry. That started. Weird. That started as freehand. Just drawing. like so, working off of uh, like how I can draw superheroes, how I can mess around with uh, Jack Davis's um, Mad Magazine, um, how I can sure, yeah. duplicate uh, Merv Corning's NFL il- illustrations. Mm. Um, but then it wasn't until with music too. It, it always comes back to music because you know um, another thing before even getting into my middle school years, anybody have the Marvel Comics 45s plus comics? Maybe people that are listening. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about because my brother was in the comics, so, and I kind of know what you mean. And yeah. I still had, you, there There was a blogger or that would have those, and I would I download them some, from, from the 70s. Okay. I get Cap, Captain America and the Falcon um, presents, and a phoenix oh, shall one. arise. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, and... All of them, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, they had the horns in the background. Right. So if you ever hear, like, Pete Rock, you follow, if you follow him on, on, on Instagram, Instagram yeah, I do. Yeah. all those sound overs, yeah. <laughs> the Hulk, and even the Hulk yeah, he with has some great Bixby pose, yeah. <laughs> and Ferrigno, that yeah. horn play, and, huh. the thing, and the thing, so that, so that brought me to Pete Rock and, and hip-hop. As a Those horns, yeah. because what I, and I think I've never articulated until just now is that influence from Marvel Comics was definitely Pete Rock was definitely my um, pre transition into appreciating nice. jazz music as much as I do now. Wow, so so hip hop, yes, no doubt, a hip hop producer got you into fusing basically infusing and fusing the jazz and art together basically kind of yeah I, I think there were a lot of people like that then that's too, interesting because it's like you you listen to this stuff and it's like where do they get this stuff and right you, right you dig and you're like hey i kind of well, recognize that sample and yeah then you're like oh this yeah. is actually yeah. a jazz artist yeah, yeah. yes that's that's how you learn about you know sure. yeah. so so there's pete rock right he's doing all these things from his boy they oh, remember like, the horns in that. So that we don't that, that, that right there. Well, I yeah, went through yeah, two yeah, cassettes yeah, yeah. of Mecca and the Soul. Well, so, reminisce over you is another one. I went through two. That's what I. I went through two yeah, yeah. two, <coughs> two I cassettes. I broke two cassettes. Yeah, using that, and that was that was so one of those mad. thick ones. Yeah, so they remember mad. how much minute, how many minutes were on that? That was a full cassette. A sixty minute one or eighty, you know, or ninety minute, forty five on each side. That's what it was. Ninety, ninety, forty five on each side. The one it was. Uh-oh. So when oh, two, yeah. two, the clear two one, cassettes. it was like great clear. Yeah, yeah. Max L, TDK. Speaking of how they looked, Master Ace <laughs> slot also was yellow clear. Yo, Ma- yo, Ma- Master Ace came on in my dream last night, and the person I was with in my dream didn't know what it was, and I was disgusted in my dream. <laughs> that's a real, that's a real story. It was last night. I swear to God, I was disgusted. How dare you? I was like, oh, you, you know, don't know Master Ace. Oh my God, that you don't guy. know that's what what. That's a real story. The pairs and the person you're with is like, who's that? You're like, I don't, uh, I don't remember I, nothing else about the dream, but I woke up remembering that part. Like, why was I so disgusted? Yeah, no, I, I totally capital know a, what you all are S talking the about. E. He <laughs> says capital S because yes. it sounds like S. Yeah, okay, we want to get back to your story. Okay, you got to S on your chest. Bam! What? Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> so so the horns. <laughs> yes, the horn. Pete Rock. Something, but even uh, Chicago. Um, Chicago's uh, I think Pete Rock was feels like right now, um feel feels like, like the, the Fourth the... of July <laughs> feeling like the fourth yes that horn there's a horn in there so yes. all those horns Chicago's oh I'll... remember yes 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 feeling yes. like the Fourth of July now, uh, I can, so, I can oh, remember I just yeah. why is that significant the, the horns okay. the horns it's okay. always been horns. it's always been, horns. always been the horns okay always been the horns and the thing is I try to get into Coltrane or finding jazz. Um, how did anybody, you find? How did you find jazz though? Then, okay, I, sorry. Um, <laughs> so the horns were yeah. always something that drew me to the hip hop. The lyrics weren't as much. So me and me and a couple friends of mine, H Bum and Big Rocco Steve. Hey, shout, hey, shout out! Shout out to Big Rocco Steve. See, so we would go down to exclusive company on State every Tuesday for and the cassettes. That's what's up. Yeah. Um. So that's where we're we're getting those 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 new releases all the time. 
Um, I always thought that the exclusive company was like some sort of membership thing that I couldn't get into because it was <laughs> they called didn't me. let you into. Oh, that. dude, this is too, we're exclusive. You Love the exclusive company. Not, yeah. Oh man, I miss S- that spot. Say it with State. me. I think Say it's still it there. It's, I think it's still the there. There's, one in, there's the one in Janesville still. Nice. No, there's one here still. Really? No, I don't, think so. I don't know. It used it's to be on still State there, Street. Man. It's still there. There was one on Where? West Side by I that just walked by Pedro. it the other day, I swear. That, no, that West Side one's not. That was in that dream when you were talking about Master Ace in your dream. That was Maybe. that dream. Maybe. <laughs> it's possible. Hey. It's very possible. If it is, I'm going right there. All right. Like fucking Monday. So, Jazz Music. When did that fuse with art? Janesville. It's only in Janesville. And what artist was it? I just looked it up. Okay. And what artist was it? Sorry. No, thank you. No, I appreciate it. What uh? Fuck off too. Thanks, at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and yeah, fuck off. Thanks, ass. Um, you know, uh, so when did that? When did that infuse? Right, hip hop, which is it's very interesting to me and fascinating that hip hop is what fused you into jazz, right? It was so, like I said, those friends of mine, they because, were they were yeah. higher, they they had more of a sense of the lyrics than I did. Okay. I always liked the sound, right? So the sound was always there, and I right. got you know, that, so I'm in my twenties, okay, and by the time you know, I got a little older, so I'm like, well, okay, it wasn't like Snoop progressed in a different way. Sure. So the sound, strange. the sound changed. Based. The yeah. sound changed to me. So I didn't, yeah. I don't. And a tribe called Quest was breaking up. It was different. P Rock and Seal Smooth right. weren't around anymore. Yeah. Mass Ace went. I probably went more underground. So I didn't what know. About, uh... Gangster and like the Jazzmatazz. Jazzmatazz, no doubt. I love Jazzmatazz. Is very uh, influential for, first, for me too. The, as, Donald as Bird on the yeah, lounge. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the Donald first Bird, names. Yeah. But even before that, I tried to get into. Sure. Um, I got a couple Coltrane cassettes. Me and a friend of mine went down, and uh, I couldn't get through more than a couple minutes because mm, it was too really? broad. So Coltrane tracks are going to be eight it, minutes. Yeah, and they go all over yeah. the place, kind of. But this yeah. is and this was his, his Atlantic years. I still have the okay. cassettes. Okay. But there was too much to take in. I was twenty. I'm like whoa, I can't wow, even. Yeah. But the, because the sampling made sense. Right. When P Rock would in, would would put yeah. the sampling in there, then it then then would repeat, and he so. Coltrane was the same beat, blowing kind of your beat mind. Right, right, right. So it took. So that was in '92 with Coltrane. Okay. Put it away. Nope. Got into some Marvin Gaye, Curtis Mayfield. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's going on? Sure. Um, sure. Yeah. That that track itself was right. probably the one that like first like energized uh, and it's funny it's energizes seen, your bones. Well right? you know what's funny is lyrically for me it was one of those tracks that, that it probably inspired me to be more of a conscious rapper at times. You know, just the message that came out was like, oh, I need to be on that message. Like, that that's whole, what back then, right? That like, whole thing. Yeah. So he that's made dope. it cool to he, he definitely made it cool to to be conscious nice and yeah. Well I mean, his, like, yeah, his voice was so smooth but uh, yeah, he made it cool to yeah. do whatever the fuck but he, he was, did. It was all about yeah. you know like peace and shit like, Well I find it funny what I was saying about that I thought it was interesting that um the hip hop became before jazz for you because I grew up with both being influential because my dad was that my, my dad was such a big hip hop fan or excuse me jazz fan and I was a hip hop fan and he hated hip hop but hearing both when I'm like 16 I could mm-hmm. walk in the crib and he's playing Miles and and you know whoever the fuck he's playing, but a lot of Miles. He was big Miles yeah. fans, so a lot of Miles. I mean, and deep in the Miles deep in the Miles catalog too, which is the long catalog, obviously, oh, right? Obviously, when so much. So work so with. it's interesting to me right. that so to me it was kind of at the same time, but the, it seems like as, as I got into jazz, the harder and more lyrical the hip hop was. So I understood the the mess, the, the the marriage of both, right? Mm-hmm. And how blues was a, was an influence to that, mm-hmm. and, and you know what I'm saying, and so. It's interesting to me, though, so how that marriages each other, and a lot of people don't understand that that's one of the reasons why hip-hop is the biggest art from the world right now is because it takes from all those but blends it into this art that's different from what it took from, right? And I think that's important with with the art you do. I think that's it's kind of like you you get this inspiration, but but the outcome is, is just so fucking original from anything that you could imagine somebody painting to me when I look at it, right? So And that jazz is inspiring it, is is exactly indicative of what jazz is, right? Right. Yeah. Is that is that it's just like it's so spontaneous. It's so like you never you don't know what's coming, and that's when I look at it. It's like man, you look at the like I'm looking at this painting now, and it's like man, it's it it that's what the creation of of music is. That's free flowing like that to me, and that's what your paintings look like. So it's interesting that the the that the jazz came before, or excuse me, after the hip hop. You know, I don't know. Is that all weird or no? No, okay. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say my so. <clears throat> I just realized as you guys were talking about this that like I can trace my love of hip hop to jazz too because mm. my brother was he got into jazz and 
oh, he was only into jazz, and that's what got him into hip hop. You know, wow. jazz inspired him to like get into hip hop because he would start to see the connection between the two. Yeah. Sure. And yeah, then yeah. I got into hip hop because he got into hip hop. That's so wild. I've never and heard And then I got wild. into hip hop. And then I got into jazz after I got into hip hop. So like I kind of did reverse of what my brother okay, did. Right, right. Yeah. Um, but like, I mean, I, I've always appreciated live jazz. Like live jazz go out every single yes, time you get yes, a chance. Yes. Live, like, not right now. But um, <laughs> any other time, yeah. you know. Is there a show um, right now? Let's... Huh? There... Is there a show? Right Should we go? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. The jazz show is happening right now. Guys. Right now. Right now. No, uh, yeah. But so, it's, it's, it's but. interesting, though, like that, how, like you were saying, that the marriage there, um, you know, Married, yeah. um, between, you know, jazz and hip hop and art, you know, it's, yeah. it's still inspiring art today. You yes. know, it's yes. people. People think that jazz is. Some people think jazz is in the past, but like they, you know, it's not. Oh, it's no. just it's re. It's always being reinvigorated. Yeah. Well, with music, time doesn't exist at all. There's timeless tracks. True. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't That's true. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Exist, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really what, whatever is the flavor of the day or right. whatever, or but any, that really, doesn't matter. With any creation, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's gonna well, go up and down. Well, even what we're seeing with hip hop, the giants of the '80s are still enormous. In jazz, the giants of the past are true, still true, enormous. True. That's true. Yeah, and yeah. It, it's it's hard to make a, make some space for the up and comers. Yeah, in both that's of true. Those that's true. And that the but and, and it's still a very short very period true. of history in time. Very yeah, short. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean some of these guys are still around. Um, so. Yeah, it's still it's still a live, living and breathing thing. Yeah, there's yeah. still a lot of people out there that are playing jazz um, and going to school for it and actively oh, yeah. pursuing yeah. it. Yes. So yes. every now and again, you do run into a band where you're like, I'm pretty sure that's a band full of jazz students. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like I can tell from like just you know some of their attention to detail. Like these kids are actually like know what's going on. And with with right. with hip hop to jazz and, and other genres, I'm sure. But what I what I hear and see between Hip hop and jazz, the strong individuality inside of it from the artists. Sure. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. what seems to be more than any other genre of any music. Yeah. If, you're, if you're being trained classically, mm-hmm. you're following, you have no, I'm not diminishing the, the skill level and talent. Oh, no, no, yeah. yeah. But the creativity between hip hop and jazz yeah. is a very strong. An individualistic trait. Very, very much. And yeah. I think that's yeah. what, that's the draw well, to it. Is your voice. And, you know? and, yes, and I think yeah. that's, that's you know, you can't, you know, as far as record labels might go, pop music is what it is. Right. And you'll find people that'll tran- that will that transcend that, and they're few and far between. Right. Mm-hmm. The artistry between, um, inside the genres is very different. When, yeah. Once you get into hip-hop and jazz, you really see the strength of the individual. Right. Mm-hmm. That, and I think that's the most rewarding thing from yeah. a listener's point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so when did that marriage happen, man, well, between painting and music? Talk about so that after, moment. So, like what I said, I, like? I, I couldn't... Oh, it was... Uh, so, Blue Train was um, reissued mm-hmm. in 97, mm-hmm. and they had a deluxe uh, CDC type thing. And the, have you ever seen the you cover... Mean, enhanced CD? Yeah. Enhanced CD? You put them in your uh, PC and... Yeah. Put, Got a bunch of yeah. cool stuff like yeah. a yeah. picture gallery, yeah. and 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 a uh, guest book, and they re uh, yeah, yeah yeah they kind of re they kind of I'm serious I know you, you oh, are no, but, I, I remember but you, that but you smirked, I remember that one but you smirked and now it's over because now I got to regroup I love enhanced it when you do it's my uh, favorite I was dude I, I can the, see that but I think I love you're getting in I, that was the wait, peak wait, of CDs dude yeah. I know and the thing is I you know I probably did. I don't care. Honestly. I got my own pipe anyway. Ram, you know exactly what we're talking about. I show you the logo, you'll know what I'm talking about. He, he basically, you're saying, Ram, you're old. So, um, yeah, go ahead and finish what you, you were saying. Know. You would know. Finish what you were saying. Sorry. But it's that, that cover. So I'm try- I, 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 was, I, was, I was actually I was looking for something that could speak to me because hip-hop wasn't anymore. Okay. And I couldn't relate to 70s funk and soul as much as I love the music. Sure. Was, there wasn't anything that I could walk around to, live my life to. Right. Live with, right. uh-huh. and I can't. Go ahead. I got. I got a question for you, but Go. okay. So it's a two parter. So, um, mm. I mean, you were you obviously uh, were talking about listening to the tape, and you had to turn it off because it was too much for you at your early twenties, and and obviously now, like you know, you know, you know a good amount of of history. You just you can easily drop names. So you know about the jazz history, so it's clear that you are immersed in it now mm-hmm. and love jazz music. How how did that transition happen? Did you have to teach yourself to kind of 
learn to love it or did it just happen over time listening to more and more? And then also second part of the question is, do you like any com- contemporary groups or any, is there anything that you oh, yeah. can name drop as far as contemporary artists or groups that you like? The first part, um, the whole, the history of it, the music, it, I think there is definitely, like I said, I'm, I'm, I was searching for something for me. Yeah. I knew that there was going to be out there and I needed something that was going to be mine. Cause I tried to, Let's say, you know, you're, you're just going to be who you are. You're driving down the road with your window down in the summertime. And I tried to play Eagles. I tried to play something mm-hmm. that was rock, that was probably, that was white. Yeah. That was my, what I should probably be attuned to. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even try it. Mm-hmm. I, or I tried it, but I couldn't. No, this is not feeling yeah. right. Yeah. And, I, and like yeah. I said, I knew there were certain things that were going to speak to me, and they weren't. And mm-hmm. I couldn't choose it. I couldn't. I tried to. So you knew there, were, there, you knew there was a music out there for you. And you kind of had that and instinctive was, feel. And when I found jazz music, it was just sound. They weren't saying anything to me. They weren't telling me how to feel. Mm-hmm. It was going to be on yeah. to very, you. Very important, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, so even though you know they're not trying to like eh, dictate to you, no matter what you are vocally, mm-hmm. they're right. not trying to dictate it. But you are right. actually you're sharing. They're sharing their approach, or they're mm-hmm. telling you a story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what 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 got me hooked was the fact that. These were just these musicians and their instruments and their experience that they were conveying on to me mm-hmm. was something that I could reinterpret and feel mm-hmm. on their behalf and on my behalf. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't told anymore. There was a synergy there. There was right. something there. But right. I, yeah. but, so I could hear. So when I came across Blue Train and Coltrane's mm-hmm. got his, mm-hmm. his horns resting off his neck, he's got his index finger on his lip and his hand behind his head, so he's in deep thought. Okay, mm-hmm. let me... And then... I got it at Best Buy on Lean Road. Okay. And went to I was working at a warehouse gig off Lean Road. Now it's a different name. It was DRG and Wrexham. Mm-hmm. It was about a Pretty five. Shout out DRG and Wrexham. Booba. No, go ahead. Continue. continue. <laughs> oh, no, you don't no, booba. Continue. 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 You, don't, you don't booba. Sorry, I don't booba. We got we got to get to how the, the how how the jazz and your I'm gonna painting get inspiration there. met. I'm gonna get there. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, am, I, am I too long winded? No, this is no, but no, but, really yeah, but every time, no, <laughs> not at all. No, this is not at all. I think the listeners will, might be frustrated because we keep interrupting them maybe with jokes and shit. That's fine. And no. I do it too. We if all they do don't it, have jokes, man. I'm just saying. If they don't have jokes, I'm just saying. I want to make sure we stay on the right track. Can they have jokes? <laughs> okay, you, you, you're Can hosting. They? Who's that? You're doing your hosting. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying oh, to facilitate a motherfucking <laughs> podcast. People. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ram. No, seriously though. So, so. The but uh, the opening of Blue Train was but da 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 bum bum. I replayed that probably twenty times in that five minute drive, and two years later I had to quit that job, and it was a nice job. It was a nice paying job. Well, well it had nothing to do with the song <laughs> because you listen to it every morning re- on repeat. And no, because I didn't relate like, to anything anymore in that job. Oh no, I understand uh, that. I understand that. Yeah. Something moves you so much where you're I'm like, like, what am I? So this th- isn't where I need to be. So in life, talks, so, right? so Coltrane got me. Right. So like, okay, right. I'm gonna keep drawing. I'm gonna draw Coltrane. Now I'm gonna okay. get in some some water. Oh, you weren't painting yet. None that. So I started, this is in 97, so I started drawing. And you just you kind of started with portraits of the artists. The portraits okay. of the artists. Okay. And okay. then as far as like, you Pen- know. Pencil? Yep, pencil okay. to watercolor. Graphite pencils like that kind yep, of stuff? Yep, yep. Right? Number two is whatever. Right. And right. then uh, watercolor. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, I thought you popped a balloon. I was like, what the no. fuck was that? Sorry. You ever do a uh, scratch out stencil? <laughs> Uh, back in back in high school, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, Those are yeah. good. Those are cool. I like yeah. that. The, the the contrast is very high. I like yeah, that. That's me too. Yeah, I was uh, curious. But yeah. So. So when did it marry the music, and when did this the beautiful shit we gonna start showing here in a little bit? We gotta get to that. We gotta get to the why. Well, you're inspired. Yeah, the we gotta get to the question, passion that we pick it apart. Oh, yes, yes. The second part was so what the are modern do you, guys? Do you know any contemporary artists? Like, because you said it's hard to, it's really hard for these Be- these. Big giants of, of right. basically the the creators of the genre to to go away. There's no one new. There's right, and all and it goes a, along with the same question it, really. with the same question that you had as far as um, how much you want to devote to the music and mm-hmm. how much you want to learn from it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I needed to know more about the artists. Yeah. I had to know what their story was. Yeah. I'm not going to just like not I mean and it, and it goes back to NFL films. You know, you got the history of the NFL, which I I, I have a lot of knowledge of that too. Yeah. Okay. But you want to know about your favorite team, how far back you want to go with Isaiah Thomas and yeah. and those individuals that, that that you're akin to, so you know sure. the history of it. Yeah. So you give I, you give I, I feel that to. I feel that with NBA, I like 
Yeah, want to follow. I'm like that you with know a story kind of. Where did it start? It, yeah, yep. I, I'm I, like I that with that. music though. I feel it. Like I want to be a music historian at some point. Yeah, yeah. And earlier in my life, it was sports. So it's like I feel that both with both. But yeah. I do, yeah. like you're saying with music or with, with sports, I do the same thing with music. Yeah. Where is this person from? What mm-hmm. what made them create what they created? Mm-hmm. You know, who discovered them? Oh yeah. How did this track get made? Who was it happened to be in the studio and write this little part of the hook? Just you yeah. know, smaller shit. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, that's inspiring. Yeah. yeah, so it's always nice to know where. Did that have anything to do with what I was talking about, or did I pick up? It did. No, it like did. What he was saying, yeah. But but, <laughs> but but as far as like what I need, I do need to know what I'm, what I'm, what what they did. I want to give as yeah. much respect, and also it's going to help in my piece to give as much respect to the individual artist as I possibly can. No. So I want to. I don't want to sell it short. I want to. No. I want to access a certain amount of dynamic to what they did to what I can do. To give it tribute, and and I can see that in the art because I've seen a lot of your art, and you definitely you show a, pro, a singular, different process. You do the same piece multiple, you know, different times, and that's the process of jazz music. It's, yes, you're picking it apart, and you're doing this is this emotion or feeling, or this is this mood or color, and then but it's this is the same thing, but it's in a different light, mm-hmm. and. And I really like that. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool shit. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But who's, who, who, do you, do you have any like Nowadays, favorites? So Victor Gold, I've done two jazz covers for him and that's, that's my dream. Yeah. When I was a kid, you know, yeah. you know, cassettes, remember you fold them out? Yeah. You fold them out, you fold out the, uh, the cassette covers? Yeah, the liner yeah, Oh, yeah, man. Liner notes, I would draw, yeah. I would draw Fuck them. Yeah. I would draw them at that scale. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, so cool. and, and I didn't know that you could, like, you do know, right, three sides. I had no right, idea. So I'm in. Right. So I'd like. You, just, have, you, I, you were just emulating what you saw. I'd right, have, like, right. I'd, I'd redo. Okay, I'm going to do that's Tribe, dope, I'm tribe Called Quest. I'm going to yeah. do Pete Rock. I'm going to do Third Bases <laughs> cover. Uh, that's and I'm going to hang them off my dashboard while I'm driving around my little Dodge Omni. Shout out Dodge Omni. Hey, Dodge Omni. Why are we shouting out Dodge Omni? Hey. Geo Tracker's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Is Zuzu Trooper? 91 Geo Prisms. I hope you can get up the hill on life. Here we go. Dotson. That's how. Yes. Yeah. So are we showing are we is the, are the is the listener seeing his paintings right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys keep talking. All right. So what so, so, I was just trying to I was just um, trying to no, no, pepper hold on, in so what you guys are like, 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 Hold up one second. Like, is the list well, like as far as oh, modern oh, no, yeah. it's okay. As I'm far sorry. as modern yeah. musicians go like I've done um back to album cover work and yeah, sure. cassette. Victor Gold, I did uh two jazz uh, jazz albums for him. And that's I mean, I'm I'm still floating off those things. Nice. Yeah, man. And I've you know, and I've get I've getting inspiration from other musicians. Josh Lawrence, Marcus Strickland, Greg Osby. Greg Osby did a um, jazz hip hop fusion back in '92, nice. and I can still remember hearing that for the first time. Mr. Sure. Gutterman, you got to hear it. Okay, it is. Winning. What do you think of Robert Glasper? Winning. Yeah, Robert Glasper. What do you think is doing all stuff? of these? You know, he's been, he's been, black radio. He's been, and Speaking all of, of the, uh, the jazz hip hop thing, he's been Glasper's going right back and forth. Glasper's Just is another. Back he, and forth. He is another like. Crazy True artist, yeah, he's crazy you know what I mean, like right dedicated now, yeah. to his art. Yeah. Do you uh, do you like Snarky Puppy? Have you heard of Snarky Puppy? Uh, no, we should have. No, I don't. Like oh, Snarky it's Snarky um, Puppy's real. It's uh, no, it's real. It's it's <laughs> like uh, they're they're um, so it's all ten motherfuckers people. in the group. It's crazy. Are you serious? Yeah. You serious? What about Brecker Brothers? One hundred percent serious. What do you think about those guys? Randy and um, I don't know who that is. That's something my it's a it's a jazz group that my brother really likes. Nice. Okay. But I remember he showed me a oh, video of them. It was fucking crazy all jazz. Right, so, so Fast, brothers? like, Record brothers? thrashy kind so, uh, of jazz almost. Right. So yeah. we had no uh, real structure for how we were going to show your art. So here's what I think. I mean, we're going to be here, listeners, watchers, whatever, viewers, whatever they yeah. call it. I don't care. We're taking polls. Jargon. We're taking polls so right, right now. So right now, we're not taking a poll. We're going to take a poll amongst <laughs> the room, right? A lot of people yes. in this room. How are we going to do this? I think we should show a painting and we just talk about it. To, you know, tell us the inspiration, tell us okay. who it was inspired by or whatever. And we just kind of cycle through them. What do you think? I think that's a good way to do it. Well, yeah. Normally we do music tracks so far. Okay. You know, we just kind of find a, we kind of figuring it out as we go. And I, I told you outside when, we, when I was smoking a cigarette, that's how I want to do it. I want it to be free form and it's been. It's working. For, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. 30 yeah. minutes or something now already? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're so, doing yeah, it. Yeah, so we that's go. That's it. Seems right? like what what you think? Right. We're, we're, this it's going is okay? golden right now. Yeah, it's bad. Absolutely. Everybody's in the grids? Yeah. All right, cool. 
then I don't have to call my troops. Let's roll. Well, I was going to say, um, going <laughs> off of something, ja- something Zach said, uh, he was mentioning how like some of your uh, paintings uh, have themes going like throughout several paintings, Yes, which is mm-hmm. why I brought up this uh, folder of uh, Thelonious Monk. Nice. Yeah. Um, you can really see that um, in your style in this. Yeah, uh, there's, you know, there's some real traditional yeah, style. And then, right. I mean, right. I don't really know what you would call. Let's go some to that first one. And let's go uh, left to right, top to bottom, right? Yep. Yeah. So what, what would that top left start with? That let me be click this a one? cubism type thing. I don't or? know. I think they get. Uh, I think they get pretty loose on defining what cubism is. Yeah. What do you? Okay. Well, I don't care what they. That's what per, they that's, I don't know who they is. I don't. You know. You define def- your own. Okay. Shit, I definitely right? have cubistic influences. Okay. This is not a cubistic. Some people might claim right. that it is. There, is I, there are there are others where I was a, a, applying. And trying it okay. doesn't mean that I got it, yeah. but that it's cub- it's dope, cubistic. Man. But this one in particular is more of it. It's based off. Um, this is I think I finished this in like oh four. Okay, okay. But I was on the phone one time. We still had landline. Mm-hmm. One time, huh? And I was uh, one time just doodling one on a time. piece of paper, and I think I still have the doodle. But it was okay. So if you follow the black lines, yes, and pretend and strip away all the color, sure. And imagine that being your pen on a piece of paper. That's pretty mm. much the beginnings of it. And you're talking about. Uh, okay. you're talking about and, you start with, are you talking about mainly in the shape of the face and then every, down to the shoulders just too? All the yep, all the all the black lines, and that became the beginning of the painting. Wow! And it was the idea was just basically keeping your pen on the pen wow. the entire time. Okay, so Brad, can I ask you a question? Oh. Can the viewer see this painting right now, like this? What? Like we're seeing it? Yeah. Okay, so the viewer can see that. The viewer's seeing all of that screen. I can't imagine what the viewer's thinking, because I'm sitting here looking at it like, well, if that's that, and that's that, then holy shit. <laughs> and, then, but then the, and, the, and, and the colors become a play oh, on shadow. All these prints. Have, okay. you, have you ever done the, Metal uh, that, like, it's kind of popular now, that just, like, single line shit? Have I've ever, seen it. I've, yeah. I've done it. Um, I mean... Like, yeah. that's how this uh, originated. I, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And as far as, like, so the end of, so, it's, it, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I knew I was going to drop David Lynch at one point. Run it. Okay. Uh, David Lynch, I'm anybody cool. know him? Uh, the director? Yeah. Yep. yeah. El- Elephant Man yeah. to Eraserhead. Twin, Twin yeah. Peaks. Twin Peaks. You know him as him? What do we mean? No, no, no. Mulholland Drive were those <laughs> yep, two but, girls. But, yep. so but they oh had. Oh my god, dude! Holy <laughs> shit! That was like the first like. Bam. I, just, I just know but what it is. I ain't that's seen in like that the was dr- the first bam. But that's in like what the dream world mean? though, right? What the fuck is? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they were naked. <laughs> I saw it. Okay. But there's that movie, was, that movie <laughs> fucked me up for like a week. But there was there was yeah. a great there's, Pat, there's we have maybe some great interviews with yeah. with David Lynch. Okay. And it comes down to what he determines is the eye of the duck in his films. The eye of the duck, and I'm not—I might not get this right—but the eye of the duck is the scene of a movie that breaks down the entire story mm. in a way that is essential in the storytelling. And he describes okay. the eye of the duck itself. Yeah, I think he'll reference it. Okay. The eye of the duck itself. He, he describes the eye of a actual duck being right. as what it is. Stay on that picture. Stay so, on that picture. Okay. Um, how, so, how, so, so the eye of the duck for this. I'm trying to. So when I as, as soon as I, I learned about this, I started to look at my paintings in a way. Okay, now there is an eye of the duck. Mm. That's essential to the piece itself. Right. No matter right. who the artist is, no matter if it's musically, there will always be a lyric or a or a sound bite. Sure. Or a vibe in your tone that will give you that. Right. Uh, that will give you that. That will know that yeah. it made sense to right, you. Right, right. Absolutely. That, Absolutely. that it will connect with you and resonate yeah. with you and, and probably the listener. And maybe the listener. And you know what? There's lines that I've written before. I'm sure Zach and I'm sure anybody who writes any lyric or paints any painting, there's a parts of it that anything you create, it's it's just for you. Right. And if somebody else resonates with it, it's like, you know, I'll give you a great example and the best analogy for that. Eminem mentioned his daughter's name, Haley, so much in ways that was crazy, but at the same time, to other people, to some people crazy, but to some people, he's a, he's a single father. He's a father, right? So much so that it became a pop culture phenomenon, just his daughter's name. Mm-hmm. That's, the, right? that's the building you see what of I'm the saying? mythology. Right? You know, it, it only so matters to him, right? It that, only I mean, matters to him, any musician, right? It only matters know? to him. That yeah. name only means something to him and whoever's related to her, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. To the rest of the world, but it became... But now a fucking it big thing. Something. Yeah. It's, yeah. That, it's, it's very indicative of that ideology right yeah, there, yeah. right? Like I think, right? So, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah I so agree. as far as like, so the eye of the duck in this case is actually his eye because it, it doesn't, 
if you don't, if just don't one. see as one, there's one eye. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So the split down the middle. What's it, what's the uh, most? I think what's, that, can you, what's the middle? Well, what's the yeah. face difference that's gonna make, there? That's that's going to relate to most of my pieces as we look on. Well, yeah. I was going to say it's not directly and, in the middle, right? No, but it's no. but but as far it is split down the middle of the portrait. Right. Yeah. Now the other indication of oh. what I'm trying to convey is his name. If you watch how I wrote Monk. Oh yeah. If you and you, and if you imagine writing M O N K, okay, you should write it like this. Well, I'm writing it like that. And that should relate to the relationship of the portrait itself. Do you understand? I get it. Oh yeah, yeah. So if all of my, if I had a one stroke for that M, can you imagine doing one stroke and the, you, you get three different colors? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. And yeah. you you approach it in that same manner, in right. that same vein for all of the structure of the line itself. I can kind of see that in the O, in the style of the O. Okay. That comes across. So all that yeah. is is so what I'm doing is I'm replicating one continuous line. By slowing down the process in painting it. Okay. I don't know, but I don't. I don't get it. Okay. Okay. So if you're, so imagine yourself, and you have a pen, yeah. and a piece of paper, yeah. and you write your name, yeah. okay. as yeah. fast as you do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A, a scribble, L scribble, G is fine. Right. And my name is Monk okay. in this situation. Oh. And what? And my name is Monk in this situation. <laughs> sure. Yes. 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 And you then are, you are Monk. <laughs> no, and you will take. Then you will take that rendition. Yeah. And you will apply it to a canvas with paint and brushes. Okay. Okay. So are you? You're basically saying the name is uh, kind is of the, a mirror of what you're seeing. It's in... the idea of the line work. Okay. If you pay, oh, it, if it you reflects have, the painting itself as the line approach. Uh -huh. Same what I what I just said uh -huh. about uh, explaining what. Yeah. yeah. If you were to if you were to take your signature right. uh -huh. and paint it on a canvas, because you're not going to get the same effect with a paintbrush as you would a ballpoint pen. Hundred percent. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh -huh. that's also where the black outline part comes in too. All those things. So right. yeah. basically, if you were to sit there and just uh -huh. and just sketch over your name, I love it. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, and then come to a conclusion, and then you have ideas. Each line is another idea for a groove, a shadow, or another edge. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And in this case, they are light to dark, bright to shadow edge to line mm -hmm. and that gives you the the idea it's basically a play on shadow with some color variation love it yeah, yeah. i love how like in depth you can go to it because it really like people yeah. you, you know you brought it up earlier you would show people stuff and they'd be like oh cool but like if you if you really you, you don't have to take that much time even if you really try to you know start to analyze the art there's a lot going on that people oh, are yeah. not seeing. Well, and to add on to that, I, I, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, I, I yeah. But, but no, to add on to that, I actually wonder, I was going to, one of my final questions and about this scroll one. Scroll down a on, little bit and I'll show you. That, what, I wanted to ask you, I'm sorry, but yeah. You could scroll down. There you go. Okay, so yeah. on the lower right-hand corner, that's the piano fate. Oh, that's, yes. that's the piano. Sure. There's See? the price. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I like it. And the price. So um, you get a print for twenty two dollars. No, so but really though, exactly like it's that worth it, right? So take it. Uh, okay, it wait. Is. So I want. I want. Can you go a little up to get more we'll of the painting? A little more. more of the, what I yeah, want yeah, to yeah, ask. Yeah. I just want you to be able to see okay. more of the painting itself when I ask you this question. Okay. Are there any? Okay, so when someone looks at a painting like this, I'm a big Salvador Dali fan, right? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I'm looking at the beard, okay? Right. I'm looking at the very center of the forehead to the left of the eye looking thing in the middle in the blue, the black in the blue right there. Yeah. And it looks like the way the light blue goes up, and then there's that uh, to the right, my right, um, there's like a flame looking thing, but it could be a hand, right? Like it's a, a cloud, feather. right? It's a feather. Okay, and I thought a feather the first time, right, from the hat, right? Yes, sir. Okay, all of that looks like, to me, either a arm with a hand uh, or oh, right, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the kind cool. of thing where nice. I, I guess nice. the, my final question was going to be is there anything in this portrait or in this painting that is abstract that the average person might not know that you were inspired and that's why you did it or is there thing or is there are people reading too much and it's just hey interpret what you interpret right Dude. like or is there really anything like that or is that secret shit that you can't Hold tell on, us you'd have to kill us there is no <laughs> do you ever hide shit no, in your art, that, or do you? No, I think I think nothing? that that's the viewers. That's the viewership of it. That's and the good. Thing yeah. Is, do you Let like it, it when people like say, "Oh, I see this then at." Yeah. yeah. And well, you're like, well, no, well, that's definitely oh, wait, not wait, there. As long as they have that tone. Hey, it looks like I see yeah, this in there. I see a 
<laughs> no, but answer the first question though. Answer that first. You know what I'm saying? Like answer. You know what I'm saying? Like no. Sir, is there anything? Is there anything in the beard? Is there anything in the in the clothing? Is there anything but you meant to hide a little bit or anything that was no, not, that was interpreted? No, 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 not in this or, one. Okay. And I do see that it is. It, oh, is, from, it, is, it is from all four. Yeah. So the thing is too. So and it's so you had, somebody asked about the split down is. The yeah. Thing is yeah. that becomes. Uh, like I said, I, I'm paying it. I pay attention to what I'm doing as much as possible because sure. situations like this. Podcast. <laughs> somebody got some. Yeah, Rams so, podcast so, and you, Brad's you, you, fucking. Yeah, you'll studio. see it. You'll see it you, <laughs> if you pay attention. You will see a split down the portrait. Yes. Um, and upcoming ones. Another thing too uh, that, that uh... another thing too that plays off is you see the left, the arc, the lower half of a semicircle. Yeah. That, uh, on the right side, the, of the on the left room? side, to okay. right up, right below that. What that blue is, stuff? that's mirroring the split to the other side of the piano. Oh yes, see that? it sure is, absolutely. So I those are, yeah. so that right, th- you know what that is? Yeah, yeah. And I'm paying it, like I said, I'm not faking it. Sure. I'm trying, I'm, I'm navigating around my reactions to it. I like it. So what that yeah. is, yeah. what you talked about earlier, Ram, yeah. is the improvisational aspects of it. Uh huh. That was nothing more than just a reaction to the feel that I got on the other half of the painting. That's all that is. All right. Well, and this is look, and this so, and, this, and this is sixteen years later. Okay. I, I, okay. I knew okay. what I was doing uh, yeah. then to describe it now. Okay, so I, my frame if of you, reference would be a rhyme. Right? I'm sorry. Yeah, so, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Right. No. So doubt. a rhyme and yes, like, indeed. like like if yes, I say indeed. this over here and it was in a certain cadence or rhythm, uh-huh, uh-huh. then that means four bars later, like if I say that on the four bar part, then on the eight bar or twelve bar part, I might want to say something very similar to rhyme with that. I did that in one of our rhymes on Dope right? Like so You keep the cadence is it but that change same, the lyrics. Right. Is that the same or... type of thing? Like you have to have the balance mm-hmm. in it. So I'm go- a, yes, yes. So it, because yes. I know I have if to I have this balance. If I didn't have that, I would feel right. Because I know I have to have this balance. Whatever comes it's, to me within trying to create that it, balance in that moment is what comes out. Is it right? exactly? And if I, I think it's important and, to, for creatives to understand. And, 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 that yes, that's how yes, it works for you're exactly right. right. I did not know until you said it, but uh, yes, you're right. Uh, and as far as the balance was, yo, the thing is, rhymes. that was going to happen. Or it wasn't, Regardless, right. and it was going to happen, right? right? It was just right. You could because you any, could not have that. that if, you, if, that, if, you, that uh, if you ignore the right, that doesn't make any sense. Well, I, I was. It actually, doesn't. You're right. Well, I you're mean, right. personally, I was thinking that there's right. like the curvature on the bottom here, and then then the opposite side up and to the right. It's, oh, you thought it was a continuation. It's square. Okay. Sure, yeah. Oh. Okay. So you got squares and circles. So it's ah. a, in a way, it's I a like it. See, reversal. I like See, it. Yeah. My and, and the only thing that I can ever say that I can rest on if yeah. somebody is asking what art is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only thing that I have ever thought of is art is. The um, art isn't by art work is the work. Mm-hmm. The act of art is the interaction that you gain from it. That is what mm. art is. The art itself mm. is the interaction of the piece. That's where the art. I've is. never heard that in my forty so, years. So what that means dope. is it's it's it's, 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 how, it's you, how you interact with it. No, no. How, how I, I think my, my yeah, if, yeah, I'm, if I'm trying to understand how, what art is, yeah, and. As I just spoke to you about it, I think it's in it's it's very similar to a tree falling in a forest, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You don't hear it if you're not there. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Art is gonna be sitting somewhere else until somebody's gonna engage with it. Its interpretation yeah. is yeah. original. But as you DNA, need, there, there's right? gonna be an interaction to it. There's we gonna be something. Right. right. But that gonna, interaction and interpretation is as original as DNA. So that comes yeah, and that comes down right. to as like original as a thought. Yeah, and right? that comes back down to DNA. Right. So art is definitely yeah. a sharing aspect of it. Yeah. You can't paint something and then throw it away. This is nothing. Yeah, it's impossible. Right? Because it's out there in the ether, right? If somebody saw it, you saw it. It's still, I don't think that's right. what he was getting at. Uh, no, but but uh, I think I th- I think the act. I, took that I, th- too far. I think what <laughs> art what art <laughs> is is nothing more than just a shared interaction of something that was made. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I would agree. I, would I don't agree. know yeah. if the, I don't know. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. the only thing that I can like conclude right now. I like it. I like it. Like going shared with sound or I, visual. I, I can definitely dig that idea for sure. Going back to the eye of the duck, I really liked that. Um, how similar is that to the eye of the tiger? Is that crickets, crickets, crickets? crickets. <laughs> that... oh. All right, can we uh, go to the next? <laughs> hey, go All to, right, yeah, looks right, like right uh, let's go to uh, let's go to that next. Hey, that so next. Blue Monk, let's what, go to Blue Monk. B- right there. Before we go to this, um, okay. I, I want to just uh, earmark Wait. a little here. Hey, wait. Uh, speak- go back to go back to the, go back to Monk Red Wall. One more yes, before yeah, you go yeah, on. Yeah, because yeah. you asked if there was anything hidden. Yes, sir. The only <laughs> thing that would be hidden. There's a penis yeah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing hidden is uh, 
There's a scene in Malcolm X with Denzel Washington, yes, and he's interacting with Delroy Lindo yep. early on when yep. he's red, right? Yes. When he's at that bar, yep. the wall behind Delroy Lindo is red and brown. Yes. Uh, yes. I was going to say, that I did just look recently, like a very specific I watched specific that movie wall. about okay, two weeks you. ago. So that's why Monk Red yeah. I watched, that's the oh, guy. that's a great, that's, that's awesome. Really that is yeah, that's awesome. That's the only yeah. red part of the But whole, the thing is, for one full hit, disclosure, I don't know if the brown is right or the red is right, as far as top to um, I don't remember that either. I can't uh, remember. I want to say the exact that, color. I, have, I want to say. <laughs> I know the color's right, I just don't remember what it was. I want to say it doesn't matter. Because no, the fact that you just said that, people will forever look at that one corner of the painting and be like, "Wow!" That's and the thing amazing. is, okay. this will capture the whole well, my, film by the way, I was in one eighth of the painting, right? A lot, yeah. yeah. Without knowing the title, I was one of the, the red, yeah, the red well, just, right? I didn't but. think about I didn't think about the title, but like my eye was like after I like you know got a good look of the face and everything, cool, like red. my cool, eye cool, was cool. then drawn to this section, which is like doesn't quite fit with the rest of the painting. Another thing too. I just discovered after telling you what the hidden thing was, sure. there's a double hide. I do think Delroy Lindo mm. should play Monk in a biopic. That, wow, okay, that'd be interesting. So I that. just did a double yeah. a double mm, hidden yeah. thanks to you mm, asking mm, if there's I mean, anything well, hidden. I in mean, it. well here's another th- here's what's interesting the that he said that. that. No, Delroy I love Lindo that I love that and Delroy Monk. Lindo in that is one of the great I actors. I heard Idris Elba wants to do him and I bro, go, I'm a Delroy. Uh, Mm. I can see, I can see, I can see it as a cellboy. Yeah, I can definitely see it as a cellboy. I see both. Um, Del- I, I want to like say two anything. things. I want to say maybe <laughs> three things. Delroy Lindo in Spike Lee's recent one, uh, Five Bloods on Netflix. Dude, incredible, five, incredible. Five yeah, he deserves an Oscar. That. He deserves yeah. an Oscar to yeah. me. That's a rough idea. And yeah. it's interesting that the red grabs you, right? The red grabs me in any picture I look at, any uh, visual will. thing, because... Red I want, will always do that. Yeah, it always do that. I don't like to use it, that's why. But I love red. It's one of my favorite colors, right? But then you know what's mainly it, it grabs me out in this so picture? much now, too, that we're talking about. Now that we're about talking it, about it, like, but, but wow. you know what's funny? The yeah. first thing that grabbed me in this picture is the beard. It's simply the beard. And the way he chose to use the gray, the black, and the yeah. blue that, that blends down from his face. Uh, and in my, in my mind, it was almost as if the energy from his beard or for energy from his face just trickled down into the beard, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, I know it sounds mm-hmm. like a weird thing, but that's how I see that. The, the beard yeah. struck me, yeah. even when it was a small picture. As we were looking through them all on the screen, right? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I just broke the mic. Um, but as, even as we were looking at that, I thought, "Wow, that beard is crazy." Because I also thought the beard was letters. If you look at the, oh wow, yeah, you can, it looks yeah, like an eye it. chart. The beard yeah. looks like an eye chart. It I looks like KCE. KCF. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say SE. Yeah, but yeah, you know what I mean. And to me, that's interesting. That now that's all I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to rename the whole piece. KCF. I mean, it's interesting though that that we all. Just notice that's, different that's, things. That's the whole thing. That yeah. right there is what I'm telling you is it, what right? art is. Yeah. It's just the first painting, ladies and gentlemen. Um, um we're gonna take a break and we will be back with the next painting. I got this. Blue mom. To um just discuss it as openly as we are. I mean, we have a really great report, there's that's no right, doubt about started. it. And you were saying outside that it changed your pers- a little it, bit it, it changed it your perspective it, of what other people thought about your you think you, you oh, discovered yes. things that people oh, yeah. hadn't so you told gain you before or, I think yeah. and I don't know if it, it doesn't necessarily always mean that it's gonna influence you down the road. Right. But it's very fun to engage in somebody else's different perspective. Some sure. mm-hmm. from my artwork that, you know, is has abstract undertones and right. And uh, some nuances to different surrealism and, and, right. and uh, interaction. So okay, so but that's when it's um, the abstractness. This next one we're gonna see is uh, is Monk also, but it's also it's called uh, Blue Monk. Blue Monk. So right? it's it's the composer and the composition. But it's and it's, it's a little more of a yeah, it's straightforward, straightforward portrait. It's did you right? learn... with some with some other tones in the background, some did, shade that you yeah, know. Just did you learn some... class, classic kind of body portrait drawings before you made it abstractish? I think you get to an understanding of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I kind of play with it and you play I, with I, it. And, and, and that, that, that came out. Here's a shout out to Steve Wisniewski. Okay. Okay, Steve so I, I worked with him at Barnes Noble and I was giving him a shrug. I might Barnes know that guy. But anyway, go ahead. He's, and, and I Rambo painted with him for Barnes a couple Noble times. And he had a twin brother and we worked in the back room at Barnes Noble, but we had some insights Ooh. on art. Okay. He, he drew as well. And. We would back. Well, this this goes to what we were talking about sure. as far as influences from you know indirect sources when you just when you're talking about it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when I showed him like a, if you can imagine, like the previous piece that I talked about, mm-hmm. the line work, 
Now, now take your take a portrait, and let's say you're going to do it in cursive. Sure. That means keeping your pen on the pad. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So I showed him a, pa- a portrait of somebody that basically was keeping my pen on the pad. Okay. Well, and he, and he said, he, maybe you just have a better understanding of what portraits is, what, what, por- what portraits are. Right. Mm-hmm. And I thought about that too. That's one of those things where, like, you know, Anne Murray in the in the barn. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the fuck you're talking uh, about, right? Yeah. <laughs> but that was I'm so trying long to get ago. Going. I'm trying so to get the story going. Ago. But but the thing when he is, was five years old. Were, were those things <laughs> resonate with you? So that right. and, and same with my art teacher. Draw the shape that make the line, not the line itself. Mm-hmm. Right. No, yeah. Not, yeah. Not, not not to be yeah. involved with the object. Yeah. Draw yeah. the shapes that, that make wasn't the dismissive. Object. I want you to know that was. I know, just no, like, no. I get it. No, Let's I know. Go. No, that's why it's Let's funny. Go. That's why yeah. it's funny. Yeah, of course, I'm yeah. But those, but those are the things it's that funny, you, you will. So, true. so if that's the case, so I think, and this is the first time I thought about this. Why I would think about that with you here? Uh-huh. That I think I've approached it, wondering, and then investigating that itself. Mm. So if so, this is just a simple representation. That's that's and and you're asked what what I'm what I'm talking about is. If I learned, well, I learned on my own, mm. trying to apply what I could, mm. knowing what I knew when I was a sophomore in high school, sure. and try to apply that same knowledge as a painter. But it's it's more of an illustration than it is a painting, in my opinion. Okay. Because I'm using the brush as a pencil rather than a brush as a brush. Because a brush are tools. You, you use them like this for this shape right. and that and that shape. So mm. it comes down mm. to the fact that I'm working it to get to the point where I know I'm okay with what I'm doing. Okay. And it goes along the lines of, you know, as after I did this, and you'll see my my other series that are referenced to this. Right. And the 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 next answers to this piece are going to um, answer my understanding of what portraiture is. I like it. Okay. I like it. So I, it's interesting because this is this is the most unique piece of them all, but also the most straightforward piece. What can you attribute to that? Or am I wrong? In my it, opinion, it, it's I guess. unique to the point where. I, it's the most straightforward. It is straight it's, it's, that, that it is straightforward, right, and the yeah. thing is that it, that it's Blue Monk is my favorite tune of his. Right, Ooh, that or right. Epistrophe, and it's bum ba dum bum. Yeah, bum ba dum bum. I love how you to the point to the point where I had that was my song as I walked on the aisle when I got married to Jenny. Shout out to Jenny. Hey, are you still married? I'm not. I don't. So yeah, you still married? Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. So that's so that was my song. Hey Jenny. Hey. Her song was Jenny. Jenny. I said Jenny. Right. Jenny. Right. Yep. Jenny. Yep. You can you can't shout see out, me here. Shout out Annabelle at home with him. Like, yeah, when it, as soon as you said Jenny, I thought of this scene in Forrest Gump. It was you can sit here if you want to. Jenny. Remember that shit. Jenny. You can sit here if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> that's when yes. I heard the sweetest voice in the wild world. Seats taken. Yes. And 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 yeah, and her and her song was Sunrise Sunset from uh, Fiddler on the Roof. Great. Mm. So we had a oh, really nice. cool, okay. In, okay. intimate. Small gathering. Oh, but, hey, so, hey, yeah. give it up, give it up. Oh, small Everybody gathering. clap, give it up for that. Oh, that is I'm, beautiful. What? It's beautiful. We give it up for relationships. So yeah. I'm not even yeah. so they're so cool. Yeah. Hey, so this is significant as far as I think you could ever do. Yeah. <laughs> that, that I do yeah. feel that I pulled off. <laughs> I, I, I do I, I, I do feel that I pulled off a portrait of my most influential um, artist. Beautiful. And yeah. it's Blue Monk yeah. as Blue Monk. So I've based it all upon the yeah. idea of the composer and the composition. Well, you know... Uh, um, so sorry, it's, it's like combined legitimacy, combined intensity within the influence that, I've, that it's been having on me. Okay, so you have a... a, a, a you, you said all that very, very... <laughs> yes. um, no, I'm saying you said all that very um, descriptively to where I think the listeners definitely understand where you're coming from. I, I, it, was, it made me understand more about how you approach it, right? And, but here's the thing. It's interesting with this because it is a portrait more so. It is straightforward. But look at, I just noticed the ears themselves, right? Mm-hmm. They have the same, um, I guess it's, I don't know what it's called in, in, in terms of painting. I'm not going to pretend to know it. But I'm going to say what I'm going to call it. It has an arc to it, to where the the um, the edges and the way you did the, the, the ears like that have the same arc that you have throughout other paintings I've seen of yours. Arcs. Because I know. Arcs. Right? Is that right? Is that the right you're, you're, you're touching correct. Okay. I think the art, and, and that's interesting. It's the only thing in the painting that has that. Maybe the beard a little bit, you know. But, but I think it's the one thing where I think you kept your signature, um, the way you angle your mm. arcs and your horizons and stuff mm. in your paintings. But this, but like, and like I said, it's a it's a portrait. It's straightforward. Mm-hmm. But you still have that signature. Was that on purpose? 
that for the ear, it was not. It just happened to be. But it's, those it's are those like said, those, those, No, those are those things I think we talked about when we were outside. Is yeah, that yeah. things will reveal themselves, hmm. right? Hmm. Uh-huh. And the, what, had you, you thought about that before? Before I just said that. For that particular part of the painting, no. Yes, but yeah. as far as you're correct on the arc, right, right. which is going to be synonymous with right. um, backgrounds, um, significance, mm. and event, and also with, uh, you know, so you see paintings of religious individuals with sure. the halo behind them. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So there's going to be some pieces uh-huh. like that. Across so, significance so I'm not, I'm not religious, right? But I do think the religious connotations. Mm. Regard knowledge, mm. so I interpret it yeah. as I think what the Bible should be interpreted as is what it is to be interpreted. Mm. So what I I see importance in knowledge, and that in itself is based on what I'm seeing with these artists that I've mm. explored and mm. tried to play pay tribute to. That's what's up, man. That's a very good explanation of that. Um, there's always right. going to be there, there's always a lot of times there's going to be some sort of an arc in the background or a halo around them sure. to indicate the knowledge. Is that is that conscious or is it automatic based? Is it like is it like something that just is ingrained in you now because that's how you've created for years it's, and it just automatically it's happens? Both. It's, or is, it ends up it, it, it ends up being right. it ends up being right. um, gestural and like muscle memory. Sure. Yeah. yeah. A lot of those things will come out. Right. right. And, and 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 I imagine. As rappers, you're right. going to have a certain type of a physical maneuver well, okay. that yeah. associates with a certain word or a, 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 a group and I was of going, words and I was that are going to like you. bring that. I was going right? to ask you: Is it similar to your tribe fan? I know you are a tribe, big tribe fan. Hey, but before we go on, so, remember, remember tribe, a uh, uh, low end theory. Yeah. Back in the day when I was a teenager, yep. before his yep. dad is before I had yeah, a page. Right. Yeah. yeah. My, talk about his dad. Uh, yeah. It reminded him of <laughs> bebop. Right, right, right. Pops right, listening to right. Bebop. You're saying uh, that, that, that. Yeah, I don't what, what, what I was going to ask you about say that is, it reminded is, him of Bebop. Oh, and then there's a boom, 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 boom. Yeah. But that's, boom, boom, but that, that, that's oh, another, that's, yeah. boom, 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 that's yeah. another boom, thing. Boom, yeah. Boom, boom. And then that boom, boom, boom. But those are the things yeah. that, that, that first, you know, so I was 19 or 20 when I first heard that. It's like, sure, yeah, yeah. So I remember. I remember asking my dad, "Hey, does this remind you of Bebop?" Yeah, and, and they did at, that on purpose. Right? Yeah, 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 but yeah. Uh, but my dad was more of a listener of doo wop. Right. So right. as far as you know, we talk about music right. and other, and the yeah. whole lineage of, of music. Right. Not far apart, but a little right, different. Right. Right. But it's different. still. It's yeah. still. You know. It's still yeah. this. Still a certain swing to it, and certain. And, pop instead to it, right? of like you're yeah. still instead of acapella on the stoop of doo bop. Right. Or doo wop. Right. It became Lee Morgan when he's 18 walking down. The, um, whatever neighborhood he was in, huh? and listening to his cut "Watermelon Man" huh? on the radio huh? from stoop to stoop, from right. brownstone to brownstone, right. probably Harlem or something. Lee, like that, right? or no, uh, um, no, no, Herbie Hancock. Herbie, Herbie. Sorry. okay, yeah, Sorry. yeah, 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 Herbie yeah. Hancock. When he wrote that, he was yeah. like, he was still a teenager. Right, he's uh, walking around listening. Wow. Listen to adults. Love. Listen to Watermelon Man. Love yeah, yeah. Some Herbie yeah. Hancock. Okay, so what I was going to ask about that when, we, when I brought up Tribe is that. Crazy what you were shit. saying is that has to be similar to um, where you were saying there's a, there's the way you do it, but then there's a an, 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 something that's always constant in there. It's kind of what I drew from what you were saying, right? Right. And and, and what I'm, what it, to me that same comparison and why I brought up Tribe is you can hear Fife and Q Tip, yeah, and both of their voices, both of their flows. You know it's them as soon as you hear them. Yes, right? yes, yes. So as soon as I yes. look at your painting, if I'm looking at Zach's Instagram. And he paint and he posts something that you posted, right? Which is how I first fucking discovered, you know, knew who you were at all. Then I know it's your painting right away because of those arcs, right? Yeah. So that's why I said in that picture it's interesting. I don't see that arc in that in that same style except in that one part of the picture. And so when you listen to a fife rhyme, doesn't yeah. matter if it was when yeah. he was old, older, you know, rest in peace, you know, mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. or when or when he was younger, it's gonna sound similar. If it's Q-tip, right? If it's Method Man, Method Man has the same flow every time and you know it, right? And that's what I'm saying. That's interesting that there's that tiny hint of it. Because even if a rapper changed their style, there's going to be that tiny hint of that's them, right? Yes. Now you can hear different tracks from me, and mm-hmm. it, you, you would hear things. And I, I hate talking about myself on here. I'm sorry, y'all, but fuck it. It's, it's what it it's is. A it's passion, and I'm talking about it, right? So if I, if I write a hook or write a verse, 
there's people that have said, is that the same guy that was on the verses on the hook? And they're like, yeah, but it doesn't sound the red. same, but there's a, there's something in my voice that is consistent. There's good. something in my flow that's consistent, right? In your paintings, the same thing happens. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be that way, right? That's fucking. That's and, awesome. That's and, the beauty of it. Right? Even though there's still, I remember back in the day, you could hear critiques of, well, that's the same. You know, if, if a rap album dropped, right? They would critique it. There'd be critiques. Being, oh yeah, your four mics, five uh, mics, uh, or they, 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 XL. they haven't changed. Critiquing yeah. music, right? Right. But they, but they, right. But the thing right. is, but you know, right. they're not listening hard enough. Exactly. But I don't. I don't exactly. know. Yeah, exactly. That's a simple way to say it. All yes. right. There you go. It is. That finally. Not, I mean. Finally, I know what you're talking. And about. they're not listening finally, with an open ear. Yes. They're not listening with an open yes. ear. I they mean, expect they want people things to sound and look the same as they saw it before. You right? can you can listen That's to what the any, wants, any rock right, you know? music and they're like, oh, the, you know, I can hear the the way the guitar hits or, you know, the way that they the inflection of this. A lot of people don't listen like that. Pop. Right. Well, so you just don't know hip hop, so you're not going to hear those same 100%. things. But if you 100%. if you come up with that shit, you're going to hear that shit. Yeah. You're going to hear the yeah. same inflections. For sure. It's not all the same, you know. Things will change, and right, and, the, and, and hit, you know, and it's small. And that's and, kind and, of the and, things that thing, th- things and, will reveal themselves. Yeah, it, yep, you know, yep, reveal them. over and, time. You got to listen to more than once. You got to look and, at it more than and once. They got to be on board. Mm-hmm. Take put a put a hook in or, or not. Mm-hmm. Go away if you're not. Because that's the thing. I mean, those, those individuals as musicians are, are busting their ass out. Mm-hmm. And if you're not paying attention, then it's just out. Yeah. 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 I mean, because, I mean, a lot of people, still a lot of people don't understand jazz or don't regularly ingest jazz, you know. Um, I, I don't really know anybody that is in actively into well, jazz other than you. You know, the, like, but a, what a lot of people that don't understand it will say is it's elevator music. Yeah, well, that's uh, the worst or, or thing. Or dinner music, uh, and I've, that's I've, fine. I've, but then but, if you play like if you play like Albert Eiler, I was gonna say, but you can find yeah, you can you can then, surprise them. Then but, then um, the people will walk out running yeah. with their hair on end. I think uh-huh. I think there's people that don't know they like jazz because there's jazz influence and mm-hmm. jazz little jazz sections in pop songs, little uh-huh. jazz sections uh-huh. in other songs that they don't realize they like uh-huh. jazz because they're not understanding that that's what they're hearing. Yeah, right? yeah. I have this theory where I, I think every listener or viewer or whatever it is of any art doesn't know what they like until they like it, right? Or doesn't know what they like until they hear it, see it, right? Like yeah, so, yeah. so and that's why I think every artist should trust themselves and just do what you do because if you like it. Then percentage-wise in the population of the world, there's plenty of people that will like it too, right? Yeah. Because yeah. percentage-wise, right, right, there's right. not that much difference in opinion in terms of... And if you get to a point, right? I mean... Yeah. So you got to just trust yourself, do it all, right? And then, yeah. you know, people are going to like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, and, I, yeah. and that's the only way you create with confidence. Like so we were talking about earlier, too. You know what I'm saying? Creativity will, It'll find, dictate that. will find the sun. Boom. It's going to come out like Boom. a goddamn weed through Bullseye. concrete. Bull fucking eye. And it, that people, was a weird people, statement to say. It, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna come out. You, it'll be there. Yeah. It's always gonna yeah. show itself. Absolutely. Yeah. If, you got, if you're on board or not, it's gonna All show right. itself. Let's get into the next painting if we can. Um, so that one, in, that was I sp- picked this one because you were talking about the halo the arcs, thing. Arcs and halos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. And this is a double. It. Yeah. So I love it. it's not only an arc in a in a full circle of knowledge, yes. but cre- crepusculi is okay. What does oh, that what? mean? Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 We dumb on this podcast. Hold we need on. some explanation. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, so lean. the title <laughs> is off his tune, Crepusculi, <laughs> with Nelly. I feel like I'm asking. Cre- I might have Nelly a Crepusculi on my left toe. That's another. That's another. <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> my left toe might have some Crepusculi. <laughs> Country Nelly. So Nelly. Nelly. This is this is based down down baby. Your street in the Crepusculi, baby. Go down there, go. Yeah, I like shimmy. <laughs> down, down, no, what exactly is going on right now? Down, down, so, this baby. is a painting of <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> play, a the rare painting of, of Nelly playing the monkey piano. Now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Sweat suit. Uh, All right. Yes, yes. Now, I don't know why. Uh, Austin, oh, hey, hey, viewers, if you can oh, see Jesus. Austin Powers show up here, <laughs> I forgot he we was are up not there. responsible. <laughs> and Mike Myers, please sue us so we can have yes. some fame. Yeah. TMZ will cover us. Yeah, and hopefully cool. they follow me to my yeah, house. And shit, baby. Yeah. yeah, baby. You had it ready. All right, so I had it ready, dude. Um, yeah, where are we at here? All right, uh, based off his tune, Crepusculi with Nelly. Crepusculi. With wow. his. Explain that. What does that wife? mean? What does the that mean? Listener, to Crepusculi the dumb, to the is the name person, of a person. To the dumb person no, watching name this. Of the what does all that mean? Crepusculi is a is Thelonious Monk song. With Explain Nelly. all of that. Explain all of that. With Nelly. With Nelly, the rap artist. 
No, no. well, no, it's no. IE. It's oh, IE. No. no. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm officially the, the dumbest motherfucker on this podcast. Nelly, the name of the song tune. is Crepusculi with Nelly. I got it. I got it. Featuring <laughs> Nelly. Look, I, thought, I thought y'all were joking at first. No. I thought featuring y'all were joking at first. Or is and then it he Nelly said again. Furtado. Wait, 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 wait. I thought y'all were joking oh, at first. Though. And then, uh, she's Tata? fucking gorgeous. I love her. I love oh, that I girl. And she can what's, sing the her name, ass what's that song from the late night? I'm like a bird. Still, still, there's there's another another one one no, no one's talking about that song. Stop. No, no, there's another song that's really good. Uh, <laughs> hey, you don't have earphones. Say it right. On. Say it right. Okay. You, de- you deep in the Nella Vitato's catalog? Say it right. You deep in her catalog like that? Oh, do you know it? Not at all. Dude, what's that one Say song? Right. Not even a little bit. Oh, <laughs> sure. I sat there on, on, on He's like, yo, on, me and Nelly, uh, on my he was space, hanging out in Colorado. On MySpace like this. So take it. Okay, I wait. I think that's her. Okay, but it's not Nelly Furtado. No, it's are you to the tune. Damn, Nelly. you know how many times I try to say what it is. Okay, <laughs> all right, here we go. What it is. Martel is going to explain his goddamn painting. And here we go. It's Propos- not my painting as much as it is Monk's It's student. not a goddamn painting. It's a great painting. It's I, I, per- I, shouldn't, per- I, I shouldn't close your painting. It's uh, based on no. yes. the tune he wrote for his wife, Nellie. Crepusculi oh. with Nelly. Oh, now feel, we all feel so like assholes now. So the tune. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I was trying to stop. I know, I know. See, see, you tried. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, and we are assholes so, for ruining so, a beautiful thing. And it's, uh, so it's yeah. Moonlight. Yeah. Yes. Crepusculi is, is Moonlight. Nice. You can get a t-shirt. That's in what, Italian or what? what? Greek? I don't even know. Sounds Greek. Sounds that, that, I did not get that far deep into it. As much as I tried to. Well, you to. painted it, motherfucker. No, I did. But... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Latin as fuck. <laughs> Sounds Latin. Yeah. That's Latin. Yeah, yeah. Latin Latin everything, every language you know is Latin. I don't know, but. Like <laughs> so said, they're all Latin. I, to me, it sounds Italian. Right? They're all Latin. I'm looking at it. Crepuscular. But Monk was from, like, a, a, a zone. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Crepus- no, Crepus- you, crepuscular is of resembling or relating to Twilight. Sorry. So yeah, Twilight, Moonlight, yeah. Moonlight with I'm Nelly. So, so, I'm so, 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 just fact moon? checking his ass. So that's the moon behind him. Hey, oh. hey, Brad, Brad. So it's not only a moon. You got, you got some competition over here. I'm just fact. He's trying to take your Jamie spot over here, dude. Thank you. you. Know, Go <laughs> that for Jamie's it. a reference to the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> I, and I if you listen to the Jamie. Joe Rogan podcast, you should listen to Pick Apart the Passion podcast. Joe Rogan, yeah, yeah, Rogan. As bad and as good as it needs to be. You don't like Joe Rogan? I don't like him. I really like Duncan Trussell. I love him. <laughs> okay, anyway, Duncan fuck Trust Joe Rogan and all that all over. Not really, not fuck him, but anyway. His guests, um, his guests are good. I love that show, man. His guests are too. I like him too. But, but the, the, his guests. Why don't you like him? What's yeah. wrong with him? It's just. He, pun- a- he punked somebody out for wearing a mask on his show. He punked him out. What do you mean he punked him out? He said they look like a bee. I don't even going to say it. He said that you look like a bee if you're a wearing bitch? a mask. I'll say bitch. Don't, don't say get, it. I'm sorry. I don't want to say it again. Then. But he but said it. I don't want to. I don't want to offend. He said it to a dude. Yeah, but you, he said. I was okay. Yeah, but like he kind of looked like a bee. I'm like, okay, really? Well, was it, wait, was it Duncan Russell? <laughs> well, <laughs> Duncan, <no>. Duncan, <laughs> Duncan, <laughs> Duncan <laughs> Russell was like in that might matter. That might matter. Costume, that might dude. matter. Right. That, that might was, matter. Duncan Russell was like wearing a fucking gas mask and a fucking. I think that's who you're talking about. I watch that show every day. I don't know. I think I watch that show every day, and I think you're talking about Duncan Russell, and that does not count. I was going to say, Bill Burr They're, called him out on it one yes, time. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Bill Burr called that's his ass out on it. That's what it was. It oh, was, no, but no. He but called see, out no. Burr and Burr. No, Are you wait, serious? Wait, wait, like well, Burr, no, wait. Bill Burr. No, wait, wait. There's a podcast. After, there's a, but there's an episode after that where Joe actually Joe Rogan actually addresses that. And he says, people got mad, but I did that <laughs> just to fucking, uh, yeah, just to rile up Bill Burr. You know what I'm saying? He huh? said that just to rile what? up Bill Burr. He was just trying to fuck with him. It well, wasn't but, a well, serious I, thing. I, well, I thought it was yeah, a really... Yeah, well, you know what? Pudding is shit. So you guys doing mass shaming right say now? Pudding is, is what? shit. You're doing no, mass shaming? I'm not, oh, oh, I'm not mass the shaming. Proof, the proof is in the I pudding. I just thought it was. I just thought it was. A, <laughs> I thought it was a good, candid no, conversation between Bill Burr and him. You know, are you doing limbo? Are you doing limbo with the mic? What's going on there? <laughs> no, L- limbo. Means, you mean you mean Zumba? <laughs> this is what you do. If you prove a point on Rumb- the air around a microphone, Ram. This is what you do. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, the sound quality is not going to be good for this scene. I'm I'm never never I don't have that. to say anything more because I'm doing this. Oh, hey, tell him. Hey, uh, hey, hey. I said, instead of saying the proof yeah. is in the pudding, I you, said. You can do it. Put your back into it. Pudding sucks. What? what? <laughs> and that led me to ask him, why did you just say pudding sucks? It's a random thing to say. The pudding pop. Anyway, uh, do that, that. Was my, that was my Bill Crosby. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'll Edit that out, too. Bill, Ed, fuck it. 
Back on the rails, well, fellas. So now what? You, you, so I can't sing R. Kelly line either? I believe I can fly. <laughs> right. All right, this podcast, my What about the Beatles? Right. What about the Beatles? Back to, uh, John Lennon. Back to Crepuscul- was a douchebag. Crepuscul- to Crepuscul- Crepuscul- Why the fuck you said that? It's Crepuscul- Martel? Martel? means Martel? Twilight. It means Twilight. It means Twilight. Twilight yeah. with Nelly, with yeah. his wife. And that with was Nelly. The, so that's another tribute to uh, Monk and his wife and the song Crepuscule with Nelly. Yes. Okay. And Qu- the arc behind him is yeah. also not only Halo, but also the moon itself. Yes. Twilight. Okay. So that's what that is. is. Okay. Is Spy vs. Spy Mad Magazine? Yep. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Since you mentioned Mad it Magazine, looks, that in, that's that influence, what right? it kind of reminded me of a little bit. It could mm. work. Yeah. Just because like it's got the a... similar colors, yep, yep. you know, um, mm. and they're, they're kind of hunched that's over very, guys very to begin with. Very interesting. Um, that's super interesting. I never fucking... I'm I'm totally being 100 percent serious. Like, I've never thought about that, but I do yeah, actually kind of see it. That. After I, said it. I never thought about that. Either. Spy well, it could versus be, spy could be a subconscious. I fuck with saying, spy you know, because you were you I were too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I right. well, okay. When I was a I'm kid, <laughs> when I was a kid, for it though. Because <laughs> you're on mic. Because <laughs> you're on mic and being grilled. Okay. So uh, <laughs> so I didn't get that. I'm a oh, I was trying to hold his hand. Speaking of okay, microphone, so so with the uh, you're, you're with this with this with this painting, like you're okay, holding my hand. You uh, mentioned the halo oh, effect or, or the halo. Uh, uh, excuse me. Um, halo I'm versus at, and also moon. It's a, right, it's a moon, okay, but it's so, still a halo effect. Right, right. Absolutely. It's a, it's a double Ara- around his face. Yeah. Now, so any, and in his, any, his, any buyer of this painting gets a twofer. Right, because then mm. also two for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out something. I think it's very interesting how. The main, the largest part of the picture in terms of, besides the moon, is his body shape. And mm-hmm. I think it's interesting that the body shape takes uh. the, the imprint of the moon of the curve. But then it also, with the arm, stays on that same angle that we had in the ears before, and that we'll see in other paintings of yours. And, mm-hmm. I, and, and that's what I always love about your paintings, is those sharp edges. Thank you. I feel yes. like some other artists are scared to do that contrast okay. in their paintings. Uh, okay. Am I wrong with that? No, I got you. Right? I, let me, I, I let me, see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah let a lot me, of people let don't me, do that thing, but let you, me address you're not that. scared to do that, and that's a that's a very interesting... I don't know I, shit about art. And I no, know, I don't. But yeah, I don't... I don't to, right? I, what There's I'm, a lot of space here that some people might be afraid to... Leave blank. Right, exactly. You know? Right, and, right, and I, right. And, and that was, that's I don't, a big yeah. deal to me. And it's a, I, it's a big deal in how the, per, you, the painting is interpreted. Feel... As far as the whole covering the whole canvas? Yeah. Like... No, nah, I'm even more recently. Talk I'm about even, both that thing. Both I'm making things. more of a point to, you know, what what it looks like. I mean, I think it's important. And, and as far as what this piece is up here, the Browns Monk, mm-hmm. is, and what we've talked about too, uh... with you guys are as musicians understanding the entire process as much as possible. So mm, when the, 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 first, would, um, the first painting we talked about with the M-O-N-K, yeah. to give you an idea to the, for the viewer to understand um, to the letter of a word that everybody's written, I want you to understand how you could write it in this manner. Mm, uh-huh. How you could also take that line, what, mm. my mis- my, what my art teacher talked about line work, and apply it to form. Mm. Because there's nothing different, and eventually I think I will, you know, be able to instruct that. That's a whole other thing. Right. But I think when it, the only thing that you know, when I hear people talk about, why well, can't draw a stick figure? Well, yes, yes, you can. Everybody can, right? Physically, right? And then just enhance what you're doing. Sure. Yeah. I'm not going to come to you and say it's that simple, though, right? I th- literally it, just keep and drawing. it's okay, and it's okay that it is. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's better than because it it's like so you if, gotta, if you're walking. Okay, mm-hmm. it to me, it's walking and right? breathing and everything else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I say, like, I'm going to come up to a professional walker and say, yeah, I just, I'm, not, I'm, not wa- I'm not a good walker. Mm-hmm. The professional walker will look at them and say, man, you're walking from point A to point B, right? Uh-huh. Walk how you're walking and carry on with your life. And yeah. I think yeah. we're, we might be conditioned. We might be conditioned to the point where we don't need to express ourselves in this manner, mm-hmm. be it verbally, as rappers or musicians and singers, to visually. Yeah, everybody's put up a, a piece of artwork on their grandmother's fridge. Mm-hmm. Everybody has. Yeah. Or if they didn't have a fridge, on maybe an ice box. My grandma didn't have a fridge. Well, sure. Did she have an ice box? No. Well, I mean, did you paste it on her forehead? When you say that, what do you say that? What do you mean by that? Did what? you put it on a tree? Yeah. What do you say? What do you, what do you, round all that up? Yeah. Like, what I'm saying up, is, right? as you are walking and talking and breathing, as you are writing and reading. And listening, mm. it's all the same thing. You're so practicing. What you're, 
Yes. So it doesn't matter how, you know, there's still framework into it. There's still some ass you got to put behind it mm-hmm. to uh-huh. get to that point, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to bring ass to get ass. So you have to show it. That's a good quote. You do have bring to show That's Eddie DeBartolo Jr., ass. San Fran. Shout out. Eddie DeBartolo Jr., shout out San Francisco 49ers owner. Anywho. What? Bring ass to get ass. Bring ass to get ass. All right. On so that the, note, the, let's the, go to the next painting. I think that actually get that quote probably has something to do with the strippers that they would. Yeah. Did they? I thought they were clean. Yeah, they, ne- they never. They were. They um, were all right. Wait. All right. So at this point, I think uh, I think a good thing would be to scroll. Martel. Uh, let's scroll and you pick one. You pick right, one right, you want right, to talk so, about. It's so your let, shit. You right mean? there, improvised metaphor to the left. Nope. Right. Nope. Up. Oh, left. Improvised metaphor. That one right there. We'll talk about oh, that. Boom. Oh, all right. This that's, is, that's, this is kind of what I was talking this is about. One all right. All right. So painting. Okay. You're taking one painting and doing it so many different styles, but so, it's yeah. essentially oh, the same. Oh, I see. Wow. Okay. What's so, the same about it, you know? Okay, so you, the top left is just it's a like monk portrait. Art. And then you can tell that okay. from there. Well, not you know, not to not to hammer you, Brad, but it's not pop art. Yeah, yeah. I know. What do you mean? I, I, there's, there's a sequence of it. That is indicative to that type of thing that Warhol was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not. I'm nowhere near trying to even convey that. What I'm okay, doing yeah. here <coughs> is taking just a straight portrait of the monk in the upper left hand corner, and I'm incorporating another thing too that my Mr. Bergie at East High shout yeah. out East High, give yeah. me one. Yeah, uh, okay. And then uh, <laughs> O2 graduate. But but but, but, but yeah, he, he, what what as far as painting went, yeah. he he described blacks as being very flat. Okay. So in that painting, I don't think I use any black, and I don't, and I typically and, and don't. Which one are you talking which about right now? Yeah. Top, we're talking top left. Top left. Okay. You don't use any black. I use. Um, how do you How do you achieve the indigo plus uh, browns um, and reds, basically? Kind of browns. Thing? Okay, yeah. yeah. And then, and that gives you well, that, what it gives you is a dynamic of depth. Right. If you use black, it's going to be pretty much flat. Right. If you're going to use black, you want to add a color to it. You know what's interesting is my pops used to say, your hair isn't black. It's a very dark brown that people call black. There mm-hmm. you go. He didn't mm-hmm. believe that, that my hair is black. He believed that, that my hair is, is extreme dark brown that people just, you know, considered black. I and, have. Um, and he I also have, believed that in many ways in terms of why people said the word black was many different things, you know. Uh, mm. But yeah. Yeah, I think that's true in a lot of things. Yeah. Like we have a black cat, and if you look at it right. in the sunlight, it's, it's, it's kind of reddish, yeah. you know. Right, it's, right. But you really right. have to look at it. You right. Know? So, and that's the thing is that we're not getting natural light most of the time to mm-hmm, even perceive mm-hmm, these things. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you. no. no that but that's a very interesting thing. So when I in terms like, of I like, color. I'm going to go to the like Humane Society and say, can I have a really, really red cat? Yes. And they're going to give me a black cat. Yep. And I'll right. say, I want to. That's how that works, actually. And I'll, and I'll say, this is a black cat. They're very. And they'll say, no, it's red. They're trained red. in the. And I'll say, science. yes, it is red. And I'll say, thank you. Yep. And then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then after that, you do whatever you want. I don't know. You go home yeah, or yeah. fucking, jeez. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, well, let, me, let, me, I, let me ask you a quick question. Let's get back to this. I want to hear it. Pick up on the I guess he's recording. I don't have earphones on, but y'all can hear me. I actually didn't have earphones on. We are here with, with Martel Chapman. Is that all right, though? Brad LeBaron doing Did the producing. Yo, yo. Double man, oh, yeah. Zach, every Did day, a.k.a. over here. And uh, Martel, we're gonna get into yeah, yeah. Um, this series I'll of paintings. Oh, be And one thing I was telling you outside, or we were talking about outside and then inside, is um, that the template. Um, it, right. I think the viewer right. can see this page. This right? is a uh, right. I think and, so. Uh, and, and the difference in, in the contrast in the portraits into the to the abstract and how that how that flows and so, how that template makes a difference in each picture. Right, Talk about that. This is a, as important as what I brought here with. To me tonight in, okay. within Bronze Monk, which we'll you'll see that we'll later. talk about later Audience. on. Yes, but this is to me my own individual understanding of what live music is. Mm. Okay, mm. so um, elaborate on that. You can't play the same thing twice, right? Duke yeah, Ellington yeah. believed that. Thelonious Monk said that, mm. and so if you're gonna hear stand, see the thing is about jazz music. Mm. The there's tried and true standards that everybody has done from body and soul, right? Right to take the A train. Now and Duke Ellington played that how many times? And each time it was completely different. And he had a full on band, yeah, and almost on purpose, right? 
whatever there's a vibe because right. that that's what it is, right? right. That's what right. as you know right. A musation even is going to feel. Artists. Even with a hip hop artist performing the same song over and over, you're going to get. A and we feel, are, right? and and yeah. as and and as somebody we, in Philly what, might say something different than Detroit. What you guys but, are uh, talking about with what you guys are doing, when you get up there, that's a different day from mm-hmm. the previous day, from the previous day. Yep. So that's all different. So that's right. where your your human individuality comes yes. into play. And how does that relate to these paintings that they're seeing and the difference in the in the, in the uh, art can change or change after in the art getting into it and, yeah. after getting into the music and hearing? So for instance. This is basically Blue Monk at least eight different times. I think it's, uh, well, 16 different times. Well, I'll, I'll that, explain but... that uh, okay. some of these are variants. All right. Explain to this elementary mind, yes. Okay, no, no, no. So <laughs> the first portrait is a straight up. Yes. And from the same um, Columbia photographer, I've renditioned it off of Blue Monk, which is my tribute to the taunt. And to, to, be, song, to be clear, to you're going top left to right. Top correct? left, yep. And then left, and, then, and okay. you're going to go left to right yep. the whole time. Okay. So there's uh, the standard and there's Blue Monk. So basically, it's taking the tune, yeah. of, and I think is a really great portrait of Monk. Oh, I love it. And then that third one, take, where, how does that go okay, that the way? The third right. one goes, and that is. Um, so if I'm gonna if I'm understanding what they're doing as musicians from live performance to live performance, mm. this is a different take on it. Let's say, mm. let's say it's a little. I can't I can't put the words to sound. You don't want to say abstract because it's, it's not right. It's not, but it's still. So if you can take the underlying theme of the face and equate it to the melody sure. to identify it, and I'm not sure what har- what harmonically or musically you would be. But no real um, form. Is the, is the, the form, key, right? the form, you still understand it, but it's different. Right. So you're following right. it now. So all right. those lines might be pretty close to the same diameter in width. Sure. If you take his eyebrow forehead down right. to the nose, from white to blue to and brown. We're talking about the third one in from the, the third top one to the in. right. Those are yeah, going to okay. give you a good indication okay. of um, at least what I'm trying to stay. Um, true too. Okay, so and, and, it's, and it, I'm sorry. So and, there, and there's the arc behind him as well, right. or a halo around him. Yes, which which is, which repeats in, in as in the yes. last one we were looking yep. at. Um, and, and by the way, before yeah. we go any further, the yeah. eye of the duck. I'm not that, going further. But yeah. No, the eye of the duck of that third piece. You oh, know it's where right it there is? Again. No, no, yeah, the eye. No, left. the eye of the duck is going to be on the bulb of his of his tie. Look down there. You know what those three four lines are? Mm. Is that the beginning? Interesting. The, the eye of the duck is is what makes the painting. So okay. this is a nod to David Lynch again. Those th- those one, two, three, four lines of black on the blue part of the, the tie. Green, green, yeah. blue, oh, yeah, blue part. On the, yeah, on the okay. tie, yeah, the bowl yeah. of the... Yes. That's a shadow of his beard. That right there, my friend, is the eye of the duck. Nice. Mm, okay. Nice. All right, so we'll go on to the fourth one, and this is the idea of a standing... Well, or, or, or actually, can we go back to the third one? That's one. One more question go on ahead, that third go one. Ahead. Yes. Is, okay, so that's the first time it starts to look more original. It's a and, different. And it's, so it's, is, it's, is there it's, a reason for that in this series that you did it at that point, or does that just happen to be how the pictures are in? As there? to yeah, what are, I are these in would, order, essentially. Yes. Okay. So it's, it's it's so it's is a, there a reason that it takes I, a I hard that. left right there? In it terms does. Of creation, it, right? it does because well, I've learned. So the other thing too that I I'm, I'm, I remembered to touch on yeah. is. The biggest honor I can give the musicians that have given me so much inspiration is the right. fact that maybe yeah. I've learned something. So this is my individual approach to it. So if you guys as rappers are conveying your own words in your own cadence, yeah. your own soul, this is my interpretation. Now, it can relate to the previous two, it under, you, so you understand it. So there should be some grounding there. Right. That's fine. If right. there is, there is. If there isn't, there isn't. Then sure, I, I made it or it I didn't does. make it. Yeah. But the thing is here... I'm trying to convey what I think I've learned in listening to their music. Okay. And so what did you learn about the fourth one that you were going into then now? The fourth one is now taking what I've learned in yeah. portraiture right. and in music and in density in sound. Right. Density in sound is important here because now very, I'm understanding, very important in this I'm understanding yeah. the volume right. and weight. Mm-hmm. So if you take a look at the center of the, of the portrait, it's concrete. Yeah. Let's okay. say it's cement. Okay. So, so if I'm so I'm, as I'm painting this one, I'm pretending that I'm observing a still life portrait, a mm-hmm. still life, not a portrait, a, just a still life. These are pieces that have no business being part of a portrait. Okay. Okay. You don't you don't see any sense, right? But I'm putting them together. So as as if I went to a junkyard and picked up pieces to put them. Very much has that piece. feel. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the cement foundation. You have wire. Yeah. 
you have almost paneling or wood right there, right the, on the, the left side. Yep, my, my left. Sorry, the left. It's stand. It's probably sitting on a piece of wood. Okay. Okay. So and the right, his right side, our the left side of his portrait is copper. Yeah. And is bent and cut, and those circles around there are screws to fasten those silver pieces oh, right, right. for his eye. Does anybody else see him that that looks like a bulletproof vest on the Eddie one? What that is is just a basic, uh, you know that you know that you know that. Does anybody else see that? No, no up, uh, the, the, we're still on the top top right. Yes, this one. Uh, up, the top uh, right, up from, the top up right. From that. We're yeah, still on the top right. There, right. So right there. all oh. that is, a, all that is, is a green um, jacket that I actually got that winter. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. that's great. So that's oh shit. But it looks like some so that's, like, uh, honestly, I'm not joking. That, I love that. That shit. That's yeah. a, that, that, honestly, that's uh, I love it. it. It's like one of those secret things, right? Yeah. That's yeah. the mythology of it. I love it. No, I love that. And though. if you take a look, see, it's draped. You see how it, you, if you can, yeah. Yeah, I kind of see what you're saying there. Yeah. There's an actual uh-huh. the, the whole the full piece is in another uh, yeah. standalone. Okay. But it's another part that's a bust, which I've been doing. Okay. I'm, I'm still maintaining that idea. I'm taking sure. a painting of a bust, right. the idea of a painting of a bust right. in my head, as if if it would be a still life in front of me, but it oh. isn't. Yeah. So I'm pretending that's in front of me. Okay. So it's just like mm. it's, it's adult mm. pretend. Okay. So then, how do you get to? And I'm gonna group them together because there's an obvious interpretation, right? Okay. These next four the in next that four second are, row, in yep, that second are, from the top are, row. Are direct. Oh, they're all obviously related, right? But, okay, how does that happen from the first four? So that is direct. And I'm asking these questions simply because, gotcha. you know. No, completely purpose, understood. Right? It's, oh, okay. it's, it's direct improvisation. Okay. As oh, far as what yeah. I understand it. Yeah. Okay, I'm not saying that it's, that's another thing, too. I'm not defining it. What I'm trying to understand, all these things are just trying to understand what I'm seeing and hearing. It was what it was what, what, was what I'm, going what on I'm with hearing. Creation what I'm process so, is that correct? Hmm, yes. It, it was so, what was going on during your creation process. So I'm like, so how many times can Blue Monk be played? How many times can Blue Monk be painted? Okay. So you oh, were wow, essentially okay. listening to Blue Monk each time you painted each mm, of those. It's not. Well, do you or, listen to them? Or well, I, I listen to anything as you're painting. I'm, I, it's always going to be on. Are you? Okay. But as, as you're painting, let's say the I'm first not four, saying, are you, are like, you listening to them as you paint those? Or I'm like, listening to jazz for sure. In general, though, it's not. not no, no, no. Always. Because you know, I can, right now I can tell you what it sounds like. Sure. You right. know, so you don't right. need to know it. No, you don't. Right. I don't need to sit there. It's like painting a poc- picture but, of Pac. You know Pac, right? But if, but if we got right. to that point, hmm. and I've thought about it, now can hmm. you imagine painting a part of a song onto one piece of canvas? Be interesting, right? Yeah. I mean. It'd be a mural long, right? Even like right. like like so. So I break I break it down. So there's interest. There's a 1960 concert that was the last concert that Train played with Miles, and it was uh-huh. uh, yeah. I think I saw that. It was all blues, that. okay. And there's a point in time where Paul Chambers is on bass, and at this point, Wynton Kelly's on piano, not okay. Bill Evans, because that okay. was on the kind of blue album. But this is the 60 concert out in Germany. This okay. is a, this is pretty much okay. Train's farewell. So. Chambers is on bass. I understand that he is on the bass. And Tom when, Chambers from the Phoenix Sun? Mm-hmm. No, Supersonics. This is back. It was so, before that, gotcha. What, that anyway, was, keep going. Um, <laughs> but I'm, so, so the thing is, what I have in mind for that piece where, where as Chambers is on bass yeah. and Wynton Kelly's on piano yes. and he's just laying it out. Mm-hmm. And when you, say, when, when you hear another thing, too, that you catch up on, is when they're verbalizing how they're understanding the sound in front. So when Kelly's laying it out, so it means it's on the ground. Mm-hmm. So he's playing it, and it's just a... And, and boom, 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 boom. That's Chambers. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, Miles is ending his solo. Yep. yep. I love that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but Miles is ending. But Miles is ending it. Okay, and it's and it's. Am I saying things right? Let's exactly. say it's like a forty-five oh, degree yeah. angle, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's so. submerging that line of sound into Paul Chambers and Wynn Kelly's liquid sound. Okay. Okay. He lays it in there. Okay. And then the other on the right side. So this is a painting. Right. I'm. I'm. I'm I've always thought about this for you sure. know, twenty years now. Since I As you it. paint these type of no, paintings, I'm, but what you and, about. but this is different. Okay. But this is like I can't even. I, I don't think I can approach it yet. I, I think. Maybe in another twenty years, I'll be able to finally do it. Okay, so this. Is but con- I know okay, that I want so to do it. Let's get this so, clear for the listener. This is a, so, this is a concept that you have so not think, done if yet. You, if you take no, if you take okay. that piece, that one particular sound that's maybe ten seconds, mm. that's probably that could be a mural or that could be like a nine by twelve painting. 
But yeah. the end, the idea of that is when you take a sound and you want to convey it, you got to figure out how you're going to spray how you're going to spray, spray it. Okay. And you can't take a, a a rendition of a song, or you can try. You can try to. Mm-hmm. But that one point of inspiration where Miles lays down into the water. Mm-hmm. Of of Kelly and and Chambers base, mm-hmm. on the other end of that water, in the same point where Miles like gives him the baton, basically is where yep. Coltrane emerges out of the water. Yeah, that's where that one point. So if I was to, oh, it's fuck. almost like two okay. rappers like, like yes yeah. coming together. So when you seamless, eight eight, when, when they seamlessly they blend. connect, seamlessly blends. But the, the thing is, verse, it's seamlessly right? only in the right. and the only you fact that it's not an actual baton. But the idea wrinkling my brain, man. But the no, thing I mean, is, I'm, yeah, but the, the thing is, saying, I'm sitting the, like, wow, this is no. The yeah, key is, is for that, yeah. for that idea, from Miles to Coltrane and that soloing, it's submerged. You don't see the connection, but you know it's there. You can't see it. It's seamless. I don't think, yeah, you can, like you said, but I don't think you can actually physically see it. You like, know, my it, little it, brother. It, it, before hold on, be, sorry, so, so as far as you can't see it, if you see, it, you would not understand it. With the same vein of as far as the movie Dogma. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. That's who was who was God? Yeah, what was her name? Uh, Alanis Morissette. Alanis Morissette. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Love that. Now, yeah. and yeah. love that oh. she yeah. was God. And the it thing is, awesome. yeah. you know what? If she spoke, what happened? Everything went. Uh, oh right. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. comprehend it right. because you like can't in, right. comprehend like it. You've never heard that sound, right? right? Like you in the Bible. So you can't. Right. You would not comprehend. Well, there was a theory I heard one time that. And then she opens up her mouth. Well, that's interesting because there's a theory I heard one time that said. um the everybody who has seen God, whether religion, no person, throughout whatever age and time, doesn't matter, is right. And it's because everybody saw God in their perspective. Yes. And if I saw God in my perspective and you saw the same thing, your perspective would be different. And so everybody who saw God is right. Yes. Yeah. Right? Except yes. Like except that. that yes. You just didn't see it in their perspective. Yeah. Right? So leave it alone. So leave it alone. Leave you them believe pe- what you want, you believe what you leave want. Leave it alone. And I always thought man. that was one of the most interesting things. So how does that no pertain? Kidding. How does all of that that we just talked about pertain to those four in the middle right there, second row, how those come together and, and as a blended thing, but also very unique in their own right. Just you in know? these just in these these four, these are still a variation of Blue Monk. Okay. So as much as he interpreted it. Reinterpreted it mm-hmm. with different quartet variations over the years. Yeah, I'm like I said, I don't know musical theory, and I wish I did, but I do think there's got to be an understanding of what I'm doing melodi- melodically, melodically, right. and rhythmically. Right. Oh, and definitely. It there definitely should be, through. but I. Yeah. If, but if I had a full understanding of it, I think it'd be more relatable. But in this case, yeah. you can still you can still know that it relates to number two up there. I think I think you don't yes. have to have a knowledge yeah. of music I mean, theory and shit like that to understand that those paintings right there, those four on that second row, flow together like a jazz melody would yes. through even if it was anywhere from eight measures to fucking right. twelve minutes of a song, right? Like it doesn't matter. That's exactly the flow of exa- that's a jazz flow right there. Right. Can, Just visual it's a visual jazz flow to me. You know? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Um. The, so, was the third one from the uh, right or from the left? Is this the first one? No. No. Okay. No. They're in a row. I think you they see, are. They are. They are in a. They are. See, yep. They are in time. Interesting. It makes okay. sense to me. So, so, those so four, yes. Did you at this point between these two, just technical thing? I'm asking. Did you get like new paint? Or okay, was no, that no, an intentional? Yeah, it is. It's no. a different there's brightness a big, to it, There's right? a big change no, no, right yeah. there. So, yeah. as even from the from the e- even question. from the fifth one, that was a pretty direct approach. I was really paying attention to what my lines were. Mm-hmm. The th- second one in now, from yeah. that second row, yeah. that I painted with. I didn't have brushes. I wasn't using brushes for that. Oh, if I, I did, I, did I tightened up. I I used minimal brushes. What do you use? So what you're does that the, mean? you're right. So I used a palette knife. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 So, and nice. I and I was doing that. So my daughter was probably two at the time. I think, one okay. or two. Okay. We we were. I remember I was painting on the. We we're on our patio, and I was and I had paint on the canvas rather than on a palette. Okay. So I has as much. So I had uh like cobalt blue, ultramarine, and indigo with white. Okay. And that's what I used, and maybe some cerulean blue hue, but that's what I was using for it. And I knew that I was kind of pressed for time because we were hanging out on the patio, and I needed to have as few. Uh, you know, I didn't need to have. I didn't want to have all those tools around me or whatever. I just wanted to 
So I had to like maintain what she was doing as I was doing this. Yeah. So that was like in okay. one that was in one sitting, and then then I got back to the brushwork on the third one, and the and I actually reworked that into a. I added color tones that would be more indicative to number one up there. Um, oh, but, really? Uh, yep. The, and I think that's on Makes these. Sense. Makes sense. And then the thing on the the farthest right that was on. Um, it's more like number three to me. But that was right. That was a uh, that was on yeah. um, um, that brown particle board. Oh, what's the name of that type of board? Oh, um, I keep forgetting. Not particle board. I, I also no wood. Not none also know, wood. None of us know anything. But about there's what a type about. of wood that that was conveyed on. That was that was hard because it wasn't absorbent. It was all drying. Oh, you that painted wood. that on that. On it, yeah. Okay. It was. It right. was. It was. All right, and now, so you so, use all. Wait, could I just interject? Yes. You use all sorts of mediums then. Nope. So you all oils. All oils. All but oils. But I mean, as far as what you're important. painting on. Oh, yeah, the canvas. Um, canvas. Uh, that was a rare variant on. Um, the canvas is canvas itself, literally. Or, yep. Okay. So, but you okay. said particle frame, board. Frame, so frame canvas. So, but I mean, you use. So you were saying board, sometimes you One don't time. use. One time, rarely or rarely. Okay, but sometimes you don't use brushes. You're saying. Oh yeah, right. Or I yeah. incorporate the both. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. that's really cool because I mean yeah. I, um, I. So my roommate does a lot of uh, art on his own. He doesn't like he doesn't promote it or anything. Um, is all the stuff around here? We're, we're yeah, yeah, a lot okay. of like like that guy right up there yeah, yeah, and yeah. some of that. Um, nice, nice, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, that's part of his process is he uses a lot of different uh, tools and different mediums right. um, oh. to uh, draw similar things. So I I find that really uh, interesting. Masonite. Masonite. Masonite uh, is what why? it was on. Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but but like the different mediums really impact the way that he approaches each project. What you know? you're laughing at, man? You're saying Masonite. Masonite. <laughs> Samsonite. It's a, it's a fun. It's a fun word. You can't I say it like way it's true. Off. It's a, I was way if, you're, off. if you're not feeling good, say Masonite once. You'll be back yeah. on. Yeah, good. yeah, good. yeah. It's a it's a fun word to say. If you okay, feel like so, uh, uh, Masonite, I feel better. We got through the first <laughs> the first eight pictures we got yes. through. Yeah. And then we get to the ninth oh, picture, yeah. which starts the third row. And yes. and we were talking, and, and I asked you uh, off, I think off camera, off recording, <laughs> if, if, uh, if that Are was Are you not getting enough attention over me. there? Because you're all, you're, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We talk about. So, uh, we're getting to the ninth picture right. here, third all right. row. All right, so this is, this is. It, look, it, it looks like, earlier you said something very interesting, and you said anybody can draw a stick figure, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Okay, and so. And that makes me think I could Then you that. get to this, right? Easily. Right, you could, but you as can As long draw, as so, you know what it means. So wait, so Martel, you call, I you, I asked you I if that was. The oh. Reflection of the beard. I asked Sorry. you if that was a template. Right, it ends and, up being, and, and, that it, and that it looks like that it kind of forms the first eight mm, pictures, no doubt, um, no doubt, very well, and it's a template and for the rest the, of and, them, and, and, right? and, and into the ninth one, and right, and, and, into, into the, right, into the right, into the ninth There's one, no doubt about into it, into the no tenth, eleven, twelve, yes. thirteen, and fourteen, or, oh, then he, or excuse me, yes. into the yes. eleven, yes, twelve, yes, thirteen, yeah. fourteen, fifteen, yes. sixteen. Yes. That's the, why, because you, you point out before, I didn't, I didn't include the the one right here, but you ended up for eight, yeah. A, ninth, the ninth one is the fourteenth. Is, is also the four. Right. The fourteenth one still has that line down the middle of it. It absolutely you, does. You yes. point so absolutely does. And that's yes. uh, so well. And in, and in some way, in the positioning of the ones that look more like portrait, where mm -hmm. there's more skin and not so many yeah, lines, right right, 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 right. Those actually have that same angle as well. Yes, because if you look at the uh, oh four six well eleventh picture right there where he has the hat, he's yes. facing this way to my left. Yes, yes. There's still that angle in there. If you look at his beard, right, right that's right. trimmed, right, 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 right. There's still that angle in there. Yeah. If you look at his tie, there's still the horizon of that, you know, and all that. Yeah. But yeah, but it's not the same. So it's there. Right. So talk about the template. How the fuck does that become these incredible other fifteen pieces of art? What's okay? Because I can do that too. Like my three year old could have did that when six thirteen years ago. Because now she, you know, she's sixteen. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I could have done that with my left hand blindfolded. Ass. I'm, just I'm not. I didn't mean to say it like that, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah. I'm not. I, I didn't mean that. No, 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 no. Apollo could have no, done that. No, shit. I didn't mean to Shout say that Apollo. disrespectfully. But Apollo, it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was an exaggerated point, but because you know what I'm trying to say, like, no, no. It's look, my three year old could have done that. I can't even do that right now. If you told me to draw it, I'm looking at it fifteen thousand times. I'm well, it's, right now. it's 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 something that you could you could replicate so quickly. I think. So, right. So how does yeah. right? So how does that become these amazing artworks? Oh, so it's 
when you get inside of a work, yeah, the process that you're doing as rappers mm-hmm. and producers and mixers and everything else that you're putting together, no matter what you're doing, even you know whatever vein you're doing, you're working on something in front of you, right, Brad? Right. I mean, you're yeah. you're, yes. you're, yeah. you're you're putting Indeed. things together. Yes, yeah. And piece then you you not you don't need to be on the inside to give birth, or the outside to give recognition to it. Mm, Whoa. Very, say that again for the listeners again. You don't need to be on the inside to give birth on the outside to give recognition to. Yeah. Oh, wow. What you need to understand... Wow, wow. What you need to understand is as you're in the process, um, shout out to Kevin Plusle on this because be in the moment, correct? Yes. Yeah, 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 definitely. So... While you're doing it, like I said, everything I'm doing, I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not just like... It's not willy-nilly. Really I'm not right. in this mode, right, right, where I'm letting the succubus get a hold of me. Mm, right, right. Yeah. There, at times, there's shout no out doubt. succubus. Succubus, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, hey, you guys shout out incubus? No. Succubus. All right, sorry, the succubus. Sorry. Yeah. It was a joke. There, there are times where, there, where, where, <laughs> she's, joke, but where she will grab a hold. There's no yeah. doubt. And, know and you know this, right? Where you're just... It's not a oh, 100%. It's, yeah. It's not, a, you know, not to yeah. be cliche or it's, No, or, it's not cliche or it's, or, or, it's it's a real thing. Or not yeah. a po- not a possession. Yeah. yeah. But there's I think what you could define it as being either possessed or inspired or in the moment. Both. Mm-hmm. Both. Yeah. Yeah. So you're paying attention to it. So you're almost like a third realm. You're sitting back and you're watching yourself. Oh. Uh, Sometimes you watch yourself do it. Shout yeah. out third realm. I would say it's fifth or sixth dimension, but third yeah. stream, yo, for self high hey. <laughs> But I mean, so I don't know who that so is, what I've gained is not is is insights. <laughs> now, if you take the word insight, you're on the inside, right? So I, I guess oh. that's what that would mean. But yeah, no, yeah, I like that. But so yeah. you're understanding the insight yeah. as you're working the outside. So that is what I'm talking about. The interplay, even when that's we're how talk- you approach that that template, is that you mm-hmm. have to go inside first. No, right? that I learned the I inside from the build from the inside out. And I resurfaced right. with inside knowledge. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I didn't. Like, yeah. you could, I did you could not. See I didn't. Skeleton of what you were after. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. After having worked before on before knowing that things. it was there. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though that it was known that it was going to be there. So as far as you know, if you're a scientist, you and as and if Which you think we all are, I mean, right? We're all scientists, yes. right? So yes. we we acknowledge, we try to investigate the inside. Oh, right. I'm definitely not a scientist then, though. <laughs> but but you you will just inadvertently come across it, right. so that ended up being like as far as like gestural or um, muscle memory. So the from top we're gonna go from eleven o'clock on that painting. That's number nine. Sure. Okay, right. That's the bill of it or the inside bottom of his hat of his Korean hat. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Top. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's yeah. where the that's where the border uh, is. It's also the blueprint that, of the arc that we okay, were talking about yep, earlier, yep, right? Yep, it is. Yeah. And it touches yeah. where that's where his forehead right. his forehead is. Right. So then so then you take the next line down. That's the top of his brow. Right. Yeah. And then his yeah. eye. Yeah. Yeah. And then the bridge of his uh, skull, and then it connects down toward his nose. Why oh, not man. two? Eyes, why not two eyes on the template? Explain what the template is doing because that's very. It's one of the most interesting it, it, things it, it about make, the whole right, the whole series it, to it me. It makes it more dynamic. Um, I don't. I don't yeah, like. Mic, it makes mic. more. It makes yeah. it more dynamic because okay. the dynamicism that I'm talking about is the interaction of it. Yeah. You're asking about it, sure. Yeah. So well, you're, you're you're active in it because sure. yeah, because as a human being. Uh, you're looking in order, for the other eye, right? in order to yes, make, yes, yes. In order to make right. it make sense in your head, you're looking for an eye. You're looking for mouth. You're right. looking for nose. Yeah. So yeah. back yeah. to the idea yeah. that I want this tree to land in the forest and nobody's around. Uh-huh. It's got to land hard. Yeah. Okay. In this case, okay. speaking of in which, that case, Ram heard it because so, uh-huh. he asked uh-huh. about it. Speaking yeah. of which, though, okay. So we're gonna go two. Skip one picture to the right. Next picture. Okay. That now, one? I'm not trying to skip it. No, gotcha. But it's back to the portrait thing. It is, but in a very peculiar place it, among 16 pictures. And it is a peculiar it's piece. First time he switches. Right. Can right. I, right. Can I, it I, changes. It changes the other way. Exactly. Can I, yeah. can I just yeah. point out yeah. that too? Yeah. That. So what is that all about? It's very unique that the one right before that, to me, looks like right. a map doom. It does. Very I was, so. Very that, I was oh, going to yes, say that. I know. Holy hey, shit. So, MF2. so I was sharing Holy that. Holy shit, I, I, it does. No, I was sharing that on. Uh, All right, sorry about skipping that one. I no, 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 no. God I did damn. that on DeviantArt years ago. And said, that uh-huh. looks like MF Doom. I don't know who it was. Uh huh. No you know shit. what? Now, I had a mad villain 
in a framed goddamn album in my living room. Dude, for a while. good. The wife. That's awesome. Dude. So I did. So it's one of those. That's fucking it's, it's, dope, it's one dude. of those inadvertent. Yeah, yeah, it's one yeah, of those yeah. inadvertent things. Yeah, so I didn't know. Yeah. What the, and, and that was around the same time that I think That's Kobe was so. wearing the Doom mask. Remember? That is awesome. Kobe had the mask that it was, it was like MF Doom. Well, uh, but it, I didn't realize. Yeah. I, and, and Doom was around. I and I knew Doom when he was on KMD. And mm. I still have the um, his uh, Black Bastards right, from the before, and the one uh, um, who me his first one that he did with KMD, the first two. I, I think I'm only holy familiar smokes. With Black Bastards. But as far as MF yeah. Doom goes, yeah. oh forget it. We but did it an episode of. Uh, did, did it have anything to do with that? Talk no, about I did not know about it. Yeah. I was about to say we did uh, Danger Doom in my other podcast, uh, the Album Concept nice. Hour. We nice. did Danger yeah. Doom, and oh my god, it was that was one of my first introductions into rap music. Okay. Oh wow. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It was That's one of the first albums great. that I, like Shit, start yeah, to finish that, that I love. That'll make wow. it happen. That'll yeah, make yeah, it happen. MF yeah, Doom is yeah. Hell of an introduction. Oh yeah, us. dude. I was um, just taken away. By so okay. Everything. So but back to the third. Yeah, that third I want to go to that because, like he said, from you know, the, it's the first row. time it changes a different way in terms yeah. of the, the way yeah, he's why facing. Does it change you want to the, go to the straight portrait there in the third? Yeah. Yes. Right now. Yes. All that is is giving you the. All, it's 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 not that um it's overly not that deep. thorough. It's, it's not, not that deep in terms of why it changes a different you, way. Only because it gives you an indication of the switch to looking. Yeah. Right. If you different perspective, literally. This is the start of a new. If you scroll back. That gives you no know, down again to the last eight. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so they, it, the couple, last couple go that way too. Yeah. It just gives you last. That's the next these, one. Yeah, these, yeah. These are no longer in the time timeline. Right. That's okay. Yeah. But they are um, relatable as far as engaging with the viewer. You'll understand what I'm trying to convey, basically right. on where his posture is. Right. Okay. That's all that is. Yeah. Okay. But these okay. are still giving you a uh, like another. It's like a another um, opening like or, point, or an kinda. introduction. Right. An introduction to the next stages here. Okay. Which are no longer. You know, they're still in. They they're, that, I mean, they are still scroll. inside. You're the saying to right. the next to the last five, right? Because the idea from is that what you're saying to the last five? Yeah, the it gives la- you an introduction to the last five. Yeah, it does. Okay. Here's and, my here's and, what's and interesting about and, that. And I think those. Yeah. I'm those sorry. Four, the five last ones, yeah, are different from any of the other they're ones. Di- they're other different from than, everything. I was gonna get. I was gonna yeah, touch on that. Yes, yeah. Okay. So, but if you look at so after the one that scaled down, yep. that we talked about, yeah. And by the way, that center line is a spec. You know, it's a still split. there. Yeah, it's a split. I love of, it. of the face. I love it. The nostril, then the, the three. well. Sometimes your center line goes to the left or right a little bit yeah, too. The, if we go the, with the last picture, yeah, there's a few center lines, right? But the three lines down the center, yeah, upper lip. Dividing yep. line yep. between the upper and lower lip, yep. and then lower lip, yep. and then the 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 line to the right that's in the angle with the that's his beard. Yeah. Okay, oh that, right. Bam, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. And 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 is that the reflection of the beard? Is that that thing you were talking about? Both. Or? Either one. Okay, but okay. So I have a question, real quick. And it relates to the next one, which is Mr. the last Mr. five. Is, the last five after the portrait in the middle, where it's facing the opposite way to the left, right yeah, here, yeah, my yeah, left. Yeah. Right. Um, right. They're all different than the rest, like you said. Right. Still yeah, same template though. Not this, not a different template, except that it depends on which way within the template that they face, right? Or yes, that, that, yes. That, or that their expression is. Or, so these last right? five, so they're all different. So if I saw all those last you're five, correct, you're correct. they could be their own collection. Correct. And then there's one that sticks out even more, and maybe not to anyone within else. The, within the last, all five. the way to the left. Yes. Yes. All the way to the left bottom. Yep. It is the one of the single pictures in this group that is absolutely like not like any correct. other picture. That's a it's idea. It's straight sideways. Yep. It, it looks like a Detroit Lions fan at a game. I mean, like it. It's different than any other picture. It is, right? It is. It, it is. You know what I mean? Detroit it's Lions way different. No, no, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was that was just a that was more. But they're, all so they're still. You could still. You, they're still like. So, uh, but was there a reason? Think, is there a reason? I mean, um, I know, think all of, this is like. Uh, this is probably in regards. Um, you know, looking back on it retrospectively. Where that stood. Was there a reason? Or was it just, hey, I just want to give you a different That was a different one. That came around between that one and the next one that we talked about in, yeah. in Thoreau. Well, that those piano's two, still there, too. Those yeah, two so. were similar yeah. in timing. Yeah. And then the third one were also probably within the same year. Okay. So those were just completely different takes on the idea of... Right. Completely different takes on the idea of portraiture. Man. So they all related. So, so you had between, let's say, the bottom... Yeah. One, two, and three, and four. Between two and three on the bottom, yeah, they related in ways, 
but yet didn't because linearly they didn't. Well, you know what's weird, though? is because when I look at just that bottom row, the left side, totally different from any other picture on the group. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then if I went yeah. to the right, yeah. it's almost like then you have to stop and then the left one starts. But then you, it's like, right. it's it's almost like if this was two. I'm sorry, I was waiting the mic. I apologize to Brad when you do this mix. <laughs> but it, like, if you go all the way to the left bottom, right, that's yeah. two. And then all the way to the bottom right, that's two also, right? Ah. And then the middle one is one and then the middle one is one, right? The two, mm. Like, right? It goes two, one inside. So oh. it like you see what I'm saying? That's great. Like, this is all the Love way that. different than the one in the in the in the uh, the second one. Right. But then the third one makes a kind of a blend to make this the fourth one, the first one, and the fourth one mix. Yes. Right. It's yes, almost yes, like you yes. have like it like as if you had like uh, black and white mixing. Very horrible analogy, but no, forgive no, no, me, no. people. But as if you had black and white mixing in the middle. Yeah. It's like almost like that. Le- all the way left and all the way right on the bottom. Are mi- those, the ones in the middle are mixing those two, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I feel like that looks mixing. like. It's, is that is there any truth to that in your mind? Um, not directly. Okay, but there's no doubt that it ends up being such. Right. But the, so as far is that as, a different perspective than you heard about those paintings? It is. It is. There's yeah. no doubt. And I think if you look at the lower left and the, and, and and these other images are also right. you can see them in full in other you know singularly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the eye of the duck, for instance, on that lower left one, yes. is going to yes. be, if you can zoom in on that shadow on um, that's between the concrete gray, yep, that right area, that area right there. Okay. Um, scroll down, I think you get a zoom. Oh. Yep. Okay, nice. so there you go. So you see. Yep, oh, there you shit. go. So so take a look at that upper Look at right. technology, people. There you go. See, wow. so you know Welcome to the pick apart the past podcast. So sh- yeah, yes, picking apart. <laughs> picking yeah, apart. Yeah, direct <laughs> later. Yeah. Pick that shit so you apart see the, sh- the shadow from that, 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 that curve from that screw on the right? Yes. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now, and that screw on the it. left yeah. connects that line Oh, we down. should have been doing this. Okay, so listen. Yeah. You know where this came from? No. Okay, see the see the nose? Is there an influence for the style of art that you did? Wait, is, Here it so is. is that curly thing his nose? Yep. Okay. Okay. So and then there's the screw in the middle. It of looks those. like a ram's head. That's just fast. A ram's that, horn. That's, fa- that's fastening. I like that. The other the line. Lip, the that line. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. yeah. 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 So yeah. That's where that. Scroll back out. Scroll back out for the listener viewer. You know, real right. quick, because we know what he's yeah. talking about now. Let's scroll back out. So. And let's so just, uh, just, let's get a, click a, a full in, a field view. Click in the void. Yeah. Just click yeah. in the void. Yeah. Or click out. There you go. Scroll down. So you still see shadow there. There you go. Yeah. Just just click on that. You just don't click. Or don't click. Click Don't listen to me because I'm not technology or, man. Either way, you can leave it as such. Yeah, just, yeah, so yeah. that hook <laughs> was my wife does uh, field like trips. Coming field, out of his eye almost. Field trips to Old World Wisconsin. That's a J-hook. Oh, shit. Uh, so when we were like, right. that's within our first year or so of marriage. So that that's J-hook cool. yeah. was pretty much the nexus of that painting. Right on. That's what's up, man. Nice. Yeah. Okay, but that whole thing is a constructivism. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I haven't studied constructivism. I've heard about it, and I've been so told you, you about did, it. So you did kind of interpret it, interpreted your own loose concept. Indir- to the in, indirectly, and I think that's always that, that's always to. that's always that's always been my right, approach. Right. I think you come across something very naturalistically if mm. you're doing it mm. indirectly because you're yep. not conce- preconceived to notions or cliches. So that makes yep. sense. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. 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 I agree. I'm mm. getting really into plants, and, then, and all right. I have I like, no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Well, well the other one next tomato to plants it. are the where best smelling Where are we at time-wise? Where are we at time-wise, Brad? We're about two hours, 13. All right, That's so we went through enough. a whole folder of yours. Is that it? No, yeah, it's not it. It's not it. About no, two, hold up, hold up, hold up, that. hold on. Hey, Zach, well, I mean, hey, I, I, hey, there's relax. Nope, editing cut, cut. Like, cut. <laughs> hold on. All right, hold on. Don't worry. There's still, I'm not even there. <laughs> my name, my name is Amram Rambunctious. I'm supposed to be in control of this podcast. I have not been the whole time. I have not done my hosting oh, job. It's okay. These motherfuckers that don't say whatever the fuck they want. I'm, I've done the same. I just it's got. A beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. I know. I could talk about this all but night. But now, though, Brad, you know I, mean? I know. But now, yeah, Brad, yeah. I got to take control of this. You got to take control. I gotta take control. Really? You gotta take cut the keys. We are two minutes. No, we are two hours and fifteen left. minutes in. Okay, we're and we're not done. We're not done. This podcast is not over. Two hours and fifteen minutes left. Where's the cameras? Well, this podcast uh, isn't over. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Do you want me to pay for two more can parts? I fi- can yeah. I finish, can I finish what the uh, fuck I was saying? Pit. All right. All right, all right, all right. So we <laughs> got through his folder. You normally would break down at six, that's 16 pictures. What? Right? 
Normally pizza we would pit. break down 16 That's songs on somebody's shit. album or something like that, right? I love Pizza Pits. So favorite. now oh I think I think I think what we do is we got through your artwork. I, I fuck with that. If everybody could please give it up for Martel Chapman and his artwork Dude. today and, and, and this, right? Yeah. Hey, this, and so yes. what we gonna do is we gonna carry it out by just talking. We just gonna talk free form, no fucking yeah, nothing to focus on. We're gonna do we just gonna hang out. And so yes. all podcasters, you are gonna probably get about another 30, 45 minutes of us just hanging out. Right. Is, you feel you want, it? Is cool. there a particular not, one that you wanted to are y'all like, cool with talk that? about? Is everybody cool with that? I want I want to talk about two more. Just two more. Oh, okay. okay. But, 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 shit, but while we're well, no, no, while we're throwing shit, I told around. you this is my fucking podcast. These motherfuckers gonna take it over. This is I bullshit. Just, I was just wondering. Goddamn <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> um, oh, we didn't show this. I didn't. I forgot. I'm sorry. I was about yes. to say yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so all this. I'm you sorry. Know, I forgot. What this is? So wait, is that on camera? Is that being shown? No, bring it in front of a camera somehow. Yeah, get um, yeah oh, bring it. Shit. No, but bring it here closer. You know, like bring it. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> well, I'm saying it's, it's connected well, I'm saying to. You can, no, you can stand no, over no, here and show it in front of the camera. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah move, move. move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can Duh. find it on here too. Duh. 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 Brad. Sorry, Brad. I was thinking you want me to it's take the monitor over it's there. It's on Fine Art in America. Brad, you can find it on here too. Oh, tight, tight, tight. All right, we can find it on the screen. Let's just forget it. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I like, I'd like to oh, carry the Mac too. over it's, there. It's but. crazy because I tried to find your art and I looked up fine one. ass Here Americans. Fine art Americans. You find fine ass Americans. So Bronze Monk is the name of this piece. I'm <laughs> yes. sorry about. I'm, I'm no, sorry no, about. Uh, no, 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 no. Forget worries. about this. No worries. Yeah. No, the uh, idea so here. This piece is in the studio, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, and it's right over there. This piece is in the studio. We all have been looking at it all night, wondering what's going on with it. It's right I behind my head. I feel like I'm smarter. You know what? You might want to edit out that whole fucking piece about us leaving or whatever, talking about some other stuff. That's all good. This is the final piece. It's we're like the out, grand finale. Left. It's like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. When you get to the grand boss, this is that <laughs> shit right here. You know what I'm saying? This is one of your newest, newest pieces. Is it's that... not. It's not a new one. It's definitely oh. not. Uh, right, so you gonna make me look stupid? Is this what you're gonna do? No, no, no. <laughs> no, this it's is one of his most provocative I love pieces. It. I, love I feel. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, I, it, it is. It, it gives me a lot of thoughts. I don't know. Talk about it. Sexual yeah. thoughts. Time. I just, it's so. There's so Time. much going on. Time. Talk about it. Time. Time is a flat circle. How long did it? How long did oh, this no. take? Oh no! Time, time is a flat, is a circle? flat circle. Oh shit, he's broken, Wait, so, guys. So did this? Did you this know how many times we've done this, broken. Brad? Hey, well, Brad. I know, what, 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 I know, man. We've done it a bunch. What have we done? What do you mean? No. Time is a flat. You circle. don't know, Ram? What? <laughs> Zach. This is like the three millionth time we've fucking done this goddamn podcast. I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't He's think I understand right. what's going on. You see He's what right. happened? He's Apollo right. said, Jesus Apollo Christ. came up and said, I know. Yeah. Apollo's I, I, I like, I'm, Apollo's hey, look, I'm totally so fucking lost. Boring. I am Season. totally fucking lost right now. So Apollo is, is the only one that knows as a dog. He's like, I've heard all this shit I don't like, I don't like the way my brain is being manipulated right now. Season one of, what's the show, what's the show, what's the show? you're confused. Fucking what's the Go show? True, true Detective. I'll leave my own podcast. True Detective. I ain't got time for this shit. True Detective. When the guys like this, time is a flat podcast. circle. <laughs> yeah. What is that, Nietzsche? Shut the fuck up. What's funny is... Well, I'm really I, uh, confused. I'll see it. So, Go to sleep. I'll, I'll see you here for the like podcast this. tomorrow. So, okay. Just in a nutshell. The same one. Uh, True Detective, the first season. Yeah, well, the character. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the Basically, the bad guy is you like got, it's, saying, you, like, seen it? time is a I've flat circle. It. But and what, we've repeated but this. I know, but what the fuck does that mean right now? We've repeated this conversation yeah, over and over again. Yeah, I remember that shit. I watched it. No, we're doing this. But we haven't repeated that. We did You don't know that we have. I think what he's trying to get at is that... No, I know we mentioned it before, but no, no, no. In that show. Three million times, though? Time okay. is a flat See, circle, I got right? time time shit. Can we get a guy to get painting? <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck y'all talking pee. about. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. It's just funny because I say that randomly, too. It's um, great. It it's is. a, it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you're just gonna be a, you guys are assholes. Be okay with hearing that. I'm just gonna say it right now. I love both of you guys, but you guys are assholes. You know, you know, we don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and you're still like, your body, your molecules actually dissolve for like thirty seconds. Okay, all right. All right, bronze. 30 seconds. bronze monk. We're on bronze monk here. Right, here's a double tribute, y'all. Hey, so you guys know, listeners and viewers, DT, I'm kicking everybody ass after this. DT. Everybody's dead. We're all dead. <laughs> We're all dead. <laughs> the DT. No, seriously. I right. was tribute to more bronze <laughs> monk. Bronze monk. Let's really get to this seriously. All right, so and then we we'll, then we we'll fuck off and everybody can watch us. Fuck so off. bronze monk as opposed, to, you know, blue monk. It's a very serious podcast. <laughs> so the 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 the, the, the first um, working title was. Um, for the painting? 
Yep, was I think I had to look it up. I forgot. Okay, okay. it was I, 05. 05. Is that how you looked it up? Oh, <laughs> he said, let me look it up. That. Let me look, said, it let up. look it up. I'm looking at the back of the painting. That is yes. it's oh. not Google, for ladies and gentlemen. It's the back of the painting. Bronze no construction Google. with hat. What? Oh, that's good. Okay, that's, now, that's, now that's, that's not as good a title as Bronze Monk. No, Bronze no. Monk is much better. <laughs> Apparently, Zach has to move right now and oh, interrupt see? the whole fucking podcast. Tired of this shit. So, All right, so, I, so I what it. I'm saying with that is, a, is I ain't really a, tired of nothing. Good. So if it was a sculpture, <laughs> that I froze the process of the composition. Okay. Okay. So imagine so it's kind of if, I, if I was painting Blue Monk yeah. and, and I did, I was able to complete it. Yeah. Now, if somebody wanted to complete a um, sculpture of bronzed monk mm. and they came in and they interrupted it and stopped it. Mm. So wait, they wait, had wait, the, the the clay carvings oh, and all I the and, and all the yes. intricacies of the actual building process were in place, yes. but yet they had to stop it. Why did they stop it. it? I feel it. They stopped it because of funding, or because so, of a fascist regime. So this was a halfway done sculpture. The idea of I it. Love oh, the it. idea I love of it. it. I, I see. It. I see. I see. It's okay, almost yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, down yeah, to the so, bone so, on my right yep, towards you. It's yep. down to the bone. What I'm looking at. Can you scroll down a little bit to see the rest of his like left arm? And then also. Yeah, his left arm, right. Okay, so there you go. So there, oh, yes, yes. And the, and the bass yeah. is the piano key. Yeah, so, yeah. And it's, oh, off wow. of, and it's off of another piece that... Well, you know what's also... Go, go up a little more. Sorry, back up. You know what's interesting to me also is the double arm thing on the uh, right, right. on his right arm. Right, because you're still in the middle of building it. So okay. you don't know where that arm is going to come and off. And you know of. what the most beautiful thing about this painting is? It might sum up all of the things I've been saying about your art this whole time. Okay. And it's one... The unbuiltness of the right side yeah. and the double builtness, like there's two arms on the left side, right? Yeah, literally. And then you have that same arc I was talking about in terms of over here, yeah, right? Yeah. I hope everybody can see me. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you I have that the, the half there. crescent, right? Yeah. That represents the other arc that you've been using is the is the uh, like you said the halo thing. Yeah. So it's like almost like this picture so, and the portrait thing in the face. Right. I'm sorry about the peas there, Brad. Brad's gonna be mad at me when he listens to this podcast. <laughs> Brad's gonna be like, Ram is not doing professional shit at all. But well, just like no, that, but all that, of that, that to say that seriously, like when you look at this painting, it sums up everything you've done in every other painting. I think it should. I it really think, does. I think that's it really does. That's why I brought it with. Um, and the, this is another thing too. Appreciate, about, we appreciate you bringing your yeah, own personal painting. That's yeah. a big you, deal. You got, you know? That's really cool. As far as yeah. what the you know, as far as sharing the process of it. Yeah. I think this is probably the indication of what, how much a regard musicians. Yeah. The jazz musicians behind it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And sculptures, because I think as much as I've painted, yeah. Most of my pieces that I've you know come to look at in the last few years or so, is their ideas for future sculptures. So. Mm. A shout out to all those I would would be sculptors yeah. out there. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, take on some clay and let me out. Oh, hook me up and let me get these on like on the playground. Hey, hey. So I'm wait, saying. are you trying oh, to well, the way, do the way you just in the mic? We can tell you're not a rapper. You, if I had, if I had the means <laughs> to do it and the time to do it. Okay, wait, so wait, you. Wait, what was your question? I was, in, I was saying, like, if you know, is he going to be doing sculptures at some point? If oh, I get to you, a point, are you a sculptor too? No, I want to. So I, I, I you have you ever done sculpting? I messed around with like uh, hmm. various sculpty yeah. uh-huh. with in the but uh, I've been wanting to like take scrap wheel. parts and make sculptures out Have of scrap ghosts? parts. Yes, yeah. not molding anything, but just putting scrap parts of that's, things together. That's what uh, right? a couple of my I've paintings were on that first. Too, yeah, that 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 sixteen. Yeah. I can't draw, but I feel like I have that uh, imaginative mind same to thing. do so. Uh-huh. It's the same thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I can't paint either. Don't get it twisted. I same paint thing. with words. I, I, paint, the same. I paint a scene. That's, I paint a picture, what I mean. right? That's with what I mean. Words. Yeah. It's probably the same like um, part of your like brain and stuff. Man, you know. I've been, had a great fucking time. Yes. Martel. Yeah. Chapman. Yeah. I think yeah, you yeah. can find them on um Instagram and Facebook under the same thing. J A J A S C Z for Instagram and my name. Okay. Google me and uh yeah. Buy a shirt. And what site are we looking at here? This is uh, Fine, Fine Art America. Fine, Fine Art, Art America, which but I mean, is F I N E A R T A M E R I C A. Yeah, but if you go- com. If, if you Google my name as such, yeah, yes, um, America that's without give you- the case. And that's Martel Chapman, M A R T E L. C H A P M A N. If you do, and then you'll find it, and then uh, hopefully you can keep me alive. Right. And tonight we've been looking at his <laughs> his uh, Thelonious Monk that series. Escalated quickly. The last painting we were looking at was Bronze Monk. I mean, um, I was about to say, I mean, I, like... I think Brad's going to keep it recording. Might, we're just going to hang out and talk. I might shit, bookmark shit, this uh, page. Yeah. Oh, I'm 100%. Bookmark this page 100%. and yeah, uh, yeah. grab one for my bro. Oh, oh, wait. One yeah. thing we did not mention yet. 
is that me and our uh, oh, fellow yeah, co-hosts gotta, over here every you day. Plug your own Zach. shit, guys. Okay, yeah, we we should plug our own shit. I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah. This doing? this guy right here, this guy Martel, is has done the um artwork. Yes. For what? for. Me and Everyday's album, That's you? Everyday producing, yeah. and me. Oh, see and me. I see it. Yeah. see it. Now it makes sense. Me they're, rapping. They're, in, they're in the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. and so, Martel did that artwork. That's coming soon. That if, will be we, a, if we were more prepared, you would be seeing that photo right now. That's, that'll be. But we did not prepare that. I didn't see I the mean, cue, and that's what you love about us. I was that we say, honest. I if can I was put it up, up right I, here. I, I bring it for the uh, um, Sorry. unveiling. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. We should have done that. That was my fault. That was two words. Post production. Totally my fault. Right. Okay. Boom. There you go. So when I say that yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. then you, yeah. Then the picture will and magically then you get this appear too, so in then front of your be like, face, like right they told us here, gonna be post production. right, right, right yeah. here. So you saw it already. You got an excuse. But I've told you this. I told you when you we started this podcast. Right? Yeah. I told, well, I told you when we started this podcast. I want all honesty. So if we fucked up and we forgot, I want to tell them that, and yeah. then you show them what we forgot. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I want everybody to understand. It's me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, all right. Cut the camera. We done. Thank what? you for watching Pick Apart the Passing Podcast. My name is Ram Bunctious. Yeah. My man, Every Day. My man, Brad LeBaron. What, what? They who couldn't be with us tonight, but he's going to be on your intro and outro to him to pick, to pick, to pick, pick oh, Apart yeah. the you'll, Passing. You'll hear him in, uh, you'll hear Big him right shout to fucking now, Martel Chapman. Thank you, bro. Your yeah. fucking artist is, artistry is amazing. I love that we can hang out and, and talk about this shit. Yeah. This pod, appreciate you. This podcast and is amazing. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you, we man. on our third yeah, episode. Great production. Great. Three's a charm. Yeah. You, yeah. You're the first artist we've had. The Thanks. other two have been music. This is honestly. Appreciate you. I'm, yeah. gonna be, I'm only being this formal because we're recording because as soon as the cameras go off, we smoke <laughs> weed and I'm saying, fuck <laughs> you, Martel. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> all right. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Thank you, brother. All right. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Pick Apart the Passion is rambunctious every day and Tayamo Danku. Check out their music on Spotify and Bandcamp or message us at the Pick Apart the Passion Facebook page to let us know what artists you want us to pick apart next. Pick Apart the Passion. This has been a Revolver Audio production. Executive producer, Brad LeBaron. For more podcasts, visit soundcloud.com slash Revolver Audio. Or to support new content, visit co-fi.com slash Revolver Audio. Mmm, Revolver.